Words. Words. Words about things. Think about words. I'm gonna send you a heart on the team. Man. Okay. Just um. Do we really have like any reason to be on the screen? So. All right. Um. Uh, this one. No. Can this one. I. I can never remember which one I had that thing set to. True. Okay. Funny bear game. Round two. Sure screen. Oh. Again. So this yeah. is the okay. second. So this is the first funny bear game. Yeah. And this is Banjo. We have to go over like we we're watching the whole intro again. What? It's we're watching not... the whole Oh my god. Oh no. It it's not She has a banjo. She okay, has a Okay, guess I'm gonna have to unplug the controller. What? Huh? Can I unplug Can something we... else without meaning to? Me oh no. He has a banjo, she has a kazooie. Oh, that's my other controller. Oh, that might be why. Okay. <laughs> I'm always there. Except when I'm not. Well, something had to go wrong. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Thanks, Steam. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm just... I'm... I'm gonna crash, Steam. Okay. Is this that epic Let Us Play of Banjo Kazooie? Yeah. Well, you know. This is the first stream since the Queen has died. No. <laughs> Okay. Game is back open. Uh, share screen again. Wow. There we All go. right. There we go. All right. He's got a banjo. Okay. Skip that. Okay. Good. Controller's working now. He killed the termite. That's so mean. Wonderful way to start. <laughs> okay, this is the file, right? Yeah. This is the first banjo game of twenty-seven. Yeah, they they made a lot of these. Too bad he's been dead for a few years. No. Besides his cameo and Smash Brothers in the background. Alright, I think this drops us, like, right where we need to go, so let's pop on over here. We're going to the favorite level of some people. Me? Not mine. That's right, motherfuckers. We're going to Gobi's Alley now. Well, that is actually my favorite level. Oh, yeah. I think that's actually my third favorite level, and that's just because I think the music is a jam. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we unlocked... Freeze easy peek at the end of the last uh, stream. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, I wrote. Maybe it's just because I live in Texas and I've lived in like southern ish states like my whole life. But I don't know, I, there's just something like about the snow that I like. Which sounds stupid to say like after saying all that, but I don't know, like. I feel like when you spend all your time in, like, extremely, like, hot environments of sorts. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, because I hate the, I hate the heat. Like, summer oh, is, summer is my least favorite season. Well, yeah, it's also my least favorite season. I fucking hate summer. Yeah. Which is why I want to move north to Illinois. 
But yeah. So, like, colder environments like this are just, like, there's my jam. Are you looking forward to your first winter in Illinois? Yeah. Whenever that happens. It's whenever I kidnap you and take you to Illinois. Well, yeah. I was just, like, looking at houses in Illinois the other day, and I'm just kind of shocked by how inexpensive they are up there. Yeah. So I'm probably just gonna buy one and then say, hey, let's go move to Illinois, and they'll be like, hey. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um... Oh, here's this one. This one I remember also having some weird, like, issues with when I first played it. It's still doable, but, oh, they jumping. They're going fast. Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna be broken in the same way, but still totally doable. This one, I think, is actually, like, a good bit easier with the bug. <laughs> I like how fast they go. They go very fast. There we go. Yeah, they are not supposed to go that fast, obviously. But they going. They going. They doing it. Oh, yeah, the snowmen are, like, I think also bugged, but, again. They just have shot their fast snowballs. <laughs> yeah. Like, the snowmen were all always really annoying, so them being That's a little true. more annoying now isn't, like, that big a concern to me. Anyway, here's the last move we had to learn in the entire game. I wonder why they didn't spread it out. I guess at this point in time, they're just like, let's get everyone all the moves as fast as possible. Yeah. I but mean, after sure. after a certain point, it's like, you know, you kind of want to have a point where you can test them on having all the moves. I guess... Did I get the Ninja of the Year? Yeah, I did. Okay. I guess in fairness, I'm like, Tui, it kind of makes the game a lot, uh... You know, it makes it so you can focus on your arsenal more. Yeah. Right. But then again, Tui has all the backtracking and stuff. Yeah, um, that move we got, by the way, for those who might not be initiated, uh, sucks. Like, specifically it sucks in this game, because aiming it is a nightmare. Yeah. Like, for these guys, I pretty much always have to get, like, right up in their face. Sometimes I can, yeah. Like, sometimes I can get lucky and- oops. <laughs> you fell in Not the usually, water. though. Oh. Damn, I'm already at three hits. Oh. oh, yeah, the water in here also hurts you if you stand in it. it stand. Frozen. Stand in the water. That is one downside to, like, when curse we fall in the water, it is it does hurt. Yeah. You know, and I was just thinking, like, because, you know, I used to kind of hate the snow as well. Because, you know, I grew up in the snow. Well, I didn't grow up in it, but... I spent a good few years in it, and I didn't care for it, per se, but... Yeah, I think the heat's way worse, because it's easier to deal with the cold than it is to deal with the heat. Yeah. Okay, let's just try and get right up on him this time. Normally, I would just deal with these guys, like, not even bother killing them, but you have to get all of them to get one of the jiggies. Like, if that weren't the case, then, yeah. Not a huge deal. Oh, oh. Missed. I'm great at this. Gamer Joby. 
Let's get these while I'm up here. Actually, let's... Oh wait, no, there's not a ginger up there, but there is a... There's a flight pad. That I or forgot about. No, I'm kidding. Wait. Oh, there's a ginger down here, though. Ooh. He's the green ginger. I've always liked the gingers. They're very friend-shaped. Yeah. As a kid, I was obsessed with them. Man. Did you get any of those ginger plushes the fan gamer put out? No, I should get them, though. Yeah. I'll probably go five of them, actually. I need them. Well, let's get the purple one, because I like purple. Yeah. Okay, let's... I have not... You know, speaking of plushes, I haven't gotten a Pokemon plush in a long time. Yeah. I got like one more thing to do that I forgot about for a minute there. Oh yeah. Is it the mumbo? Of the no. Token? No, it's um, it's related to flight. I want to get like most of the flight objectives out of the way kind of fast. Oh, is it the button? Uh, this one first. You just shout out the Jiggy. Neat. Alright, now... There we go. Alright. This one I remember having, like, a lot of trouble with as a kid. In retrospect, I'm not sure why. Like, hitting that, specifically. It wasn't bad. I had a lot more hard. I, I had a, a lot harder time flying through the ring. Yeah. Christmas has been restored. Okay. I think that's the last of the things we need flight for for now. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's like one thing else, but it's like there's gonna be a flight pad right before we get to it. Oh yeah, I remember which one I'm thinking about. I, like, I swear there was one more, and yeah, I know what I'm thinking about. I think you give that present to someone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just a gut feeling. Feathers. And I think this last floor should be the... Yep, there we go. There's the eggs. No, just this, the Jiggy. I don't care about the eggs, because I don't use as much of those as I use of the feathers, just because I like to do things fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, eggs are very situational. I, mean, I guess feathers are too, but you use the situation where the feathers are needed are much more common than the situation where the eggs are needed, I guess. Yeah. No, it's... Oh, hey, it's Waza. It's Walrus. Waza's specifically no- oh. That went fast than I was expecting. Waza's specifically notable for me because, like, I remember on that forum I used to go to, that I mentioned earlier, like, um, someone had, like, a thread that was just, like, a Dear Waza, like, ask thread. And I remember it was, like, I don't no, remember like so why like me. why exactly that was infamous. I just remember like that became like his entire personality after the fact because people hated it so much. 
thing. Is well, not so much his a... not so much his personality, but like his like most identifying feature. The guy who did the Arwaza. God, there were some weird people on that forum, weren't there? I guess so. To be fair, if I had known about the forum, I probably would have joined it. Maybe. Oh, hey, hi, Colton. How's it going? The Colt Tim. Yeah, Colton was actually on that forum. Uh, do you remember Dear Waza? Like, the actual thread was before my time. I just, like, heard stories about it. The only people I've really had contact with, contact with from that forum, like said, is besides you, the only person I've had contact with was, uh, was, well, we don't talk about him. What? The only person I had contact with who was on that forum before. Oh, wait, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, that was, uh, Banjo Kazooie Masta. Specifically, oh, Masta. There was that other guy who used to make machinima. I mean, actually, I did have contact with him before. He was like my first subscriber on my YouTube channel. I don't remember his name, though. Um, I, w I was about to say that might be Joe, but then I thought, oh, wait, no. Because, no, yeah, it, Joe had his, like, his subscriptions public at that time, and he had, like, no subscriptions. I don't remember his name. Um, man, he was a cool guy. Um, I know you were friends with him. Was I? Yeah, I, he was... I think Joe was the only person from that forum that... Oh, he was a Banjo Kazooie content creator. I had contact with him for a bit. Um, okay. I know who you're talking about, but I forgot what name he went by at the time. I just knew him as Alex. Yeah, it was Alex. So I know. I know his name was. I because I think it had. I think his. I think his username had Alex in it. It was something like based on his real name. Yeah. Was he on the forum or no? I guess not. I he wasn't. I don't think no. Okay. I mean, he was fine. He was cool. Um. Yeah, more 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 cool than fucking Banjo one eight nine. Man, he just followed me one day and cause cause like I remember just discussing that I liked uh because he saw I liked Banjo Kazooie and he saw like I yeah. see you like Banjo Kazooie, but I want you to know I'm the number yeah, one I, man. <laughs> I, I fucking I fucking love that guy. Like he was from fucking Pennsylvania, but put on this like strong ass hick accent just because like he assumed banjo would talk like that or i guess technically banjo did talk like that in diddy kong racing but you know. um banjo i like that you can token i wasn't even trying to compete with him over being the number one banjo fan all i said was i like banjo kazooie yeah. And then I subscribed to him on YouTube. Yep. Those old days were funny. <laughs> I was like, I don't I don't want to be, like, super hard on the guy, because, I mean, we were all cringe when we were teenagers. Yeah. But it's still funny to look back on. I mean, yeah, I made a Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Halloween special when I was 14. Oh, yeah. Was I 15? I don't remember. I was 15 at the time. You were the littlest years old. I was the youngest Olivia on the internet. Yeah. Younger than Olivia Olivierson. That's actually my last name. Oh no. It won in the same. Alright, um, that is everything we could do, more or less, without the, uh, walrus, I think. Or if there is something else you can do, though. I mean, there's something else, but it's, like, something I don't want to do just yet. So it's, like, right near the start. Well, you know. 
Yeah, that's fair. I I only remember like most of that because I'm neurotic. So like my cringe teenage years are stuff that I think about way too fucking often. I mean, I do too to be honest. Yeah. Looks like my also, a few months also, I used to be friends with some of the, like, shittier people from there, like, even after I left. So they would constantly remind me of the cringy shit that I said back then. Like the time you, uh... You made a fanfiction about Banjo and Kazooie being in love. I didn't actually do that back then. Um, but I... Specifically, like, they found my old bio. And they would just, like, post it constantly. <laughs> Honestly, like, you know, I'm kind this, of... This was fucking back when I was in my, like... Yeah, I really liked My Little Pony phase. So, that was, like, half my personality, because that was, like, half a bunch of people's personality when they got into that. I mean, to be fair, I kind of got into that. Um, so, my bio was just, like... As you can see, I love Rare. Also ponies. <laughs> like, that's a fairly innocuous thing, but, like, me being me at the time, I know why that was like that, like, written like that. Yeah. So... Hey, to be fair, yeah. a lot of my personality is about how much I like Songo. I mean, yeah, but you're not annoying about it, is the big thing. Oh wow, you're going really fast. I'm surprised this hasn't been broken by the... Yeah. <laughs> we got the chig though. Yeah, uh, fun fact about this by the way, Boggy runs on like Rubber Band AI. So if you like, you can cheese this race really easily. Just by like staying roughly on par with him or like a little behind. And then like, right near the end, like a few gold posts before the end. Just like immediately speeding up on him. This one is not super necessary because he's not very aggressive at this point. Nah, oh, man, the running shoes one. He is fucking yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let him get a little bit ahead of me here. That's valid. Okay. There we go. Alright, now I should be good. Yeah. You did it. That's another thing I remember, like, you can get a little bit of a speed boost if you, like, jump on that ramp. Boggy's kind of a bad father, by the way. Yeah. That's why he gets divorced. And then remarried in the next game. No, he gets divorced. That was very rude of Wazo. He's racist. Mm. I love him. The Queen was also racist. Yeah, I make... Yeah, she was. Um, I make jokes about... Like, I've made jokes about, like, just now, uh, Boggy getting divorced. But it actually surprises me that he... I think... I think he doesn't in, like, later games. But then, like, Bottles does. But he, like, doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, you know... And, I like, he didn't... That. He didn't even do anything except die. Yeah. Like, damn. Paul damn, gets the short end of the stick. And damn, his wife's just bottle. like, Hey, I can't believe it. I can't believe you died and were thus late to dinner. How dare you? Oh, man, you know, that's one game I really want to play again when I get my Series X, by the way. It is not yeah. Too I, I think that's and Bolts might actually have, like, a 60 FPS update on there. Like, yeah, it's, not like it's not like what this is, where it's, like, actually altering the game code. It's like, um... Um, 
like that thing they do where they like don't actually like make the game logic run at 60, but they make the display at 60. So like you don't get the game feel like physically there, but it like looks nicer, so it feels a little nicer because of that. Uh, was, was there something else I needed to do with the flowers? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I gotta get some of the notes that I was missing in here. I already got those. No, in here. You already got those. Wait, I did. Yeah. You got oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got them when I turned into the walrus at first. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's like everything you needed the walrus for, just like a race and then going into Waz's place town. Oh, yeah, Waz's place town. Yeah, dying wood, technically. <laughs> Wait, marriage. Well, if I ever want to get divorced, I'll just fake okay. my Okay, so yeah, I, I just need to, like, get the last few chickens I'm missing, which... One of them's a Jinjo, one of them's, um... Buggy race? Yeah, yeah, so I'm not missing anything. And then the other's a, uh... And then the other is yeah, the other's a, just, like, getting the stuff from the opening area from getting all the presents. Mm. Actually, am I missing any presents? Hey, I'll be right back. I oh, got how would I... Okay. Actually, how would I, um... How would I check if I have any presents missing? Not sure, actually. And because I went to Gobi's up wait, where is the sh Oh, right, yeah, the shoes don't spawn until you start the race. Oh, I missed the shoes, hell yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I, I choked on the getting the shoes part. That's my that's the part Hell I've yeah. done. <laughs> I've never choked on that before. There's an anime. Okay, now we should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna stay like a little bit behind him for like this whole thing. What? What's up? What? Huh? You're Whatever you're opening is being picked up by the mic and it's like drowning everything out. Sorry. I'll give you for a second, okay? Okay. But yeah, um... Threw me off. Sorry about that. Oh, well. Oh. Ow. Okay, third time's the charm. <laughs> okay, so what I was trying to say before was like, I'm gonna like, try to keep him a little bit behind me for this whole thing. Because if I get ahead of him, then that's basically like forfeiting for race. Yeah. I could still recover, like if I'm really aggressive, or if I like, stand in front of him the whole time. But the key to winning this race is just to take advantage of the rubber band AI, because he's going to go slow if you stay behind him the whole time. There we go. Got it. You beat him. That used to be so hard for me as a kid. Not so much anymore. But yeah, I remember that being hard when I first played this game. Like, now not really much of anything is that hard to me in this game, because, again, I've played it, like, so many fucking times. The only thing I don't like is that I don't find it hard. I just find it more annoying. Is the uh, is the uh, 
clanker part and clank is like raising clanker. Yeah, but I mean, even that's not really that hard for me. Like these days. There. Yeah, look at that. What is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? It's spinning. Yeah, um, for those who didn't catch the last stream, by the way, I'm playing on an emulator, and uh, Xenia, I think, doesn't have the capability to, like, read save files between games just yet, so I can't do the stop and swap stuff, aside from, like, I could, like, do the cheat codes to, like, get the things open right now. Oh, wow, that's a lot of screen tearing on that wall texture specifically. Huh. But yeah, um, like, I could, like, open the stuff, but I couldn't transfer it over to Tui, which sucks. But oh well. Yeah. I don't really yeah. use the stuff you get from uh, Sop and Swap and Tui anyway, usually, but yeah, it would be I nice used, if I could. I used the Jinjo in multiplayer. Oh yeah, that I used a lot. Um... I don't know if I'm going to show multiplayer, though, because I don't really have a way of, like, playing it with other people. Like, I could get my brothers to play it with me, but, um, uh, no. like, the one brother I hate, and the other brother, like, lives elsewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. Not sure I want to. But yeah, we're going to cure these kids' depression. I wonder which one is which in this game. Um, I don't think they reveal in this game, but, like, in the second game you can kind of tell. Because yeah. I think... I forget how you're supposed to tell. I think this one's the girl, if memory serves. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, it says in the credits. Okay. Yeah, I forgot they have that character parade, because I always skip that when I beat the game. Fair. Yeah. Okay, so that's everything in 3 season peak? Yeah. 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 That's one of my favorite levels. Um, Either that or Click Clockwood is my favorite, as I said last time. Um, One last thing to do, I guess, is get the Witch Switch Jiggy. Oh. You know, this one kind of gave me some issues as a kid, but yeah, it doesn't anymore. It, it's a little tricky. Um, thankfully, I don't think the 60 FPS bug like breaks this one, but it is still like a kind of tight fit. I always seem to make it right on time, though. Yeah. This is a. Hey, there's an Ecom token right there. Yay! Okay, don't try to get that Mumba token. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. You know, it's gonna make it to later if you're short one Mumbo token in Mad Monster Mansion, you'll be like, oh shoot, I should have grabbed that one Mumbo token later, even though you're yeah. probably gonna have more than enough. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I still need about nine more. Okay, um, I already have Gobi unlocked, so let's go, go straight over to that. God, this is like my favorite overall. Oh god, no. No. I, I'm never doing that. Absolutely not. Never doing what? Uh, look in chat. I would never do that either. Yeah, like... I can, I can do, like, an all-bananas run of Donkey Kong 64. I can't do, the, like, an all-coins run. I can't do, like, an all-mumbo token run of this game. Like, anything where the collectible count doesn't have, like, a finite number per level just bugs me too much to even attempt. Like, 
wonder where the Jinjo is. I don't know. Can you accidentally go on the world exit pad? Hell yeah. I'll lose all my one seconds of progress. So actually, no, no I won't, because the Jinjos and... The yeah, because the no, Jinjos and notes save between playthroughs. Not between playthroughs, between runs. I like DK64. Yeah, um, I agree with both of you. DK64 is pain, but I like it because I'm a masochist. Hey, I beat Superman 64 yesterday. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, I think, like, um... DK64, I think, gets a lot more shit than it deserves. Yeah. But it also... Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I love it, but I also hate it. Yeah. It gets a lot more shit than it deserves, but it definitely, like, has issues. Yeah. Uh, oh, I already talked to him. Yeah. Okay. Completely skipped over the nuts line. Yeah, uh, Liv, you said this was, like, probably your favorite level in the game, right? Or at least, like, top no. three? It's in my top three. I I think it's solely because I like the music, though. Wait. Right. Because nobody's um, not like in the game. This one, I actually don't have, like, a set order. I usually go through, like, all the other levels. I think I'm going to go through this one first, just because... Hell of it, basically. This is my favorite yeah. part right here. This one right here, where like you can. Do you do this one the way I like to do it? Like, like this. Yeah. Um. Sometimes I attempt it, but I'm not good at it. So, yeah. Uh, I almost want to attempt it because it's funny if you do. Because they don't expect you to do that, so Banjo just like sits still while the thing just like phases through him. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I kind of don't want to take too long. I forgot which way the things were going to shoot out. Why but... oh, yeah. Oh, right. That's all of them. Okay. Yeah. Fun fact is the kid I was afraid of this level. Man. Because the hands that <laughs> came out of the ground. Hi. Oh. Like that. You know, it's kind of funny what kind of shit scares you as a kid, and then you're all like, yeah, it doesn't really scare me all that much anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's just what being a kid and stupid is like. <laughs> but ironically, I was not afraid of Mad Monster Mansion. Which, yeah. I think Mad Monster Mansion is my favorite level if we're talking about levels. Yeah. And Mad Monster Mansion's a good one. I think, like, generally, like, all of the latter half of this game is, like, generally very solid levels. Yeah. Because I would say after Frizzy Peak and, uh, after, I would say, I think I would say it's Mad Monster Mansion and Click Clock Woods. Then this level, then Gobi's Valley, then Frizz's EP, then Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah, I think the only level in this game I don't like is Clanker. I hate Clanker, yeah. Clanker's my least favorite, too. Yeah. And then, and then I think Bubble Goop Swap. No, then Treasure Trove Cove, then Bubble Goop Swap, then Mumbo's Mountain, then. then Clanker. Um. And, but, and Mumbo's Mount isn't so much that I think the level's bad, it's just more so that this I look, think this it's looks, very basic. This looks really funny from the side. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the stuff on top of him. Uh, you know what, let's save that for later, actually, because... There's like a couple things with the flight we need to do something else to get first. Yeah. I do hope, like, you know, with Banjo Kazooie mods being a thing that they remake, uh, someone decides to go through and remake uh, Grunny's Revenge in a mod. Someone's probably doing that right now. That'd be neat. Though the modding tools are kind of basic, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, I already got this, yeah. <laughs> I'm smart. 
Okay. Um, okay, let's go get the running shoes. Hmm. I like how the bugs just explode into a million pieces. It's very satisfying. Okay. Alright. Moment of truth, because this is the one thing I'm not sure is, like, beatable with this patch. Okay, got it. First try. Good. Hell yeah. Alright, and I think there's... Yeah, there's waiting boots over here. Let's get those so we can get the notes. So besides getting Splatoon 3 just now, I also got My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Grave of Fireflies, and Kiki's Delivery Service. Man. I think those are probably good movies. I like Kiki. I haven't seen it in a while, but I remember that being, like... I love Kiki. It, like, either that or Ponyo are probably my favorite Ghibli movie. Before... Or Ghibli. I, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. I'm gonna be honest, besides, those are like the only ones I've seen besides Nazica. Man. So I'm, I'm looking to change that. So Man. I'm no longer an evil Satanist. So I'm gonna go through for every single Ghibli movie besides maybe. Uh, Erwig. And I might just do Erwig just because. Why not? Yeah. Oh, hey, we actually got a small jump in viewers. Like, right after finishing Freeze Easy Peak. So sad. Uh, I hope that noise didn't mean... Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. It's just the noise being a little delayed. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, but... Okay. But I know that's doable. Because I did it off-screen just to check if I, like, fixed the patch. And did it. Alright, I just need to, like, cut the corners a little more. Yeah. This one is one of the ones that kind of gives me trouble sometimes. Yeah. I think you did it. Yeah. They're underwater now. This one here is fun, because... There's, like, the only missable Mumbo token in the game. Like, if you grab this Jiggy before getting that Mumbo token, the waters rise down... rise down. Uh, the waters go down permanently here, so you cannot get that Mumbo token anymore. You know, and I wonder in the original version where, like, you were required to get all the Mumbo tokens, how that would have worked. What? Like in the beta? You had to get all the Mumbo tokens in the beta? Um, so after you beat the game, uh... You oh wait, yeah, 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 I remember it now, yeah. Um... It might have just been, like, possible to softlock yourself. I mean, that wouldn't have been the first time an N64 game released like that. Like... That's true. What was it, like, Space Station Silicon Valley had, like, a bug? Where you couldn't yeah. get 100% because one of the items they forgot to, like, program collision on? Yeah. You wanna hear the sad mute? What? My Space Station Silicon Valley copies a bootleg. Oh no. But I'm kind of okay with that because... It patched that bug. Oh, that's fair. You know what, I might just do that with the expensive games and just get bootleg copies, because who cares at that point? I mean, I don't know, like... I feel like it's, like, there's not much point owning it if you're just owning a bootleg. Fair. I guess, you know... Like, at that point, you might day, as well just, like, boot it on a, like, one of those flash carts. That's fair. I guess at the end of the day, with Space Station Silicon Valley, since it does patch the bug, I'm not gonna bitch too much about it. Yeah. You know... I got that. And the first Mom. thing... Because, and how I kind of figured out it was a bootleg was... 
It wasn't so much that I realized the bug was fixed. It was, I jokingly loaded it with the expansion pack in, just so I could make a joke about it. And then I was like, oh shit, it's actually working. Oh yeah, that one too, I remember. Yeah, there's like a weird bug with that game where, for some reason, that's like the only N64 game you can't play with the expansion pack. Good damn. Reggie. Hey, Darren wants to know if he can join in the stream call or if he kind of wanted to keep it between you and me. Uh, sure, he can join. Two. Uh, I mean, like... Uh, where is... Here we go, okay. Add friends to DM. Where are you? Okay, let's use like this um this group that already exists, I guess. Gamer. Hey games. Hey, it's the darn word. Whoa. Uh, say a few words. I'm trying to get, like, your volume right. What? Uh, what? He muted himself. Oh. Well, I guess we'll get back to the game until he says something again. Okay. Then he's gonna say something and it's gonna be, like, a million decibels. It should be on we're the same level as me, though. Potentially, yeah. Okay, this is the... This is the, uh, Jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. I got that guy out of the way, so... Oh, yeah. We have an Ecom token. And thankfully this isn't, like, 2 where the enemies all respawn. Yeah. I wonder why they okay, did that um, in 2 I think... I don't know why. Okay, yeah, this is the Jinjo. I remember specifically the Jinjo. What? Down here, then? Okay, I guess it was the Kazooie that was mirrored on both sides. Yeah. Oh, I saw that one, I think. Oh, wrong side. That one was down here, actually. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, this one. This is actually one of the only things in this game that still gives me trouble, just because I have the memory of the gnat. The Jinjos are right oh. next to each other, I thought. I know what Mumbo was. Okay, I'm back. What happened? Uh, just stuff. Oh, yeah. Did someone turn your lights off again? Yeah. Wow. Hey. Can you all hear me? Yeah. yeah. Alright, which one's this? Video game. Video game. <sighs> yeah, um... Just, like, explain what happened... Or not what happened, uh, what I'm doing here. Since I... Oh wait, no, Darren, you said you... Yeah, you said you watched the VOD, right? So you know I'm running, like, on an emulator and all that. Yeah, you're on the Xbox emulator. Yeah. It runs at a... 60 FPS with no problems. That's pretty impressive. Not, not no problems. There's some bugs that haven't been sorted out yet. But it's significantly... Oh, they... but... Yeah, I was gonna ask. Are they, like, significantly a problem? Not particularly. There's, like... There's, like, a few enemies that are a little trickier to hit because of it, but oh. for the most part, everything works fine. Like the crab dude. Yeah. The crab dude. The crab dude. Oh, yeah, also that um flight pad down there is unusable now. 
The only reason it's there is because it's there. Is it a glitch with the Why 60 it? FPS? Thing? No, 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 no. That it's like that on the N64 game like too. That, yeah. Oh, it's, it's actually it's there because it, well, yeah, it's there. Be game. Remember, like the water wasn't there originally. Like you have oh. to, you have to make it be there. Yeah, yeah I haven't played Banjo Kazooie. Like, yeah, yeah, years. I know, I know that's why it's there. I just think it's funny that it's there now and completely unusable. Yeah, I never even see myself using that one. I remember as a kid, like, I thought that was, like, a bottomless pit, because I only, because, like, the first time I saw it, it was in the demo. It was a demo? Well, like, the demo demonstration screen at, like, the oh. intro of the oh, game, like the... you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the like, title like, demo. The title demo, yeah. Yeah. Another problem was, as a kid, when I played this game, my little brother would just always delete my save file. <laughs> my brother punch kills me in the face. Or, sorry, the that's, thayak. That's gonna be the fourth episode of I remember... I was, like, <laughs> five, and I think I accidentally, like, deleted my grandma's Link to the Past save file, and she was so upset your, with me. Your grandma's a Link to the Past save file? That That's so funny. That is, that yeah. is, that is... Yeah, that is dope. Was your grandma an epic gamer like us? Yeah, that's how, that's how I got into games actually. Was your grandma a pro Fortnite gamer? Oh yeah, definitely. My she mom. Hasn't played, she hasn't played video games since like 2002 though. <laughs> Fortnite known to come out before 2002. No, yeah. no the first Fortnite known gamer. to come out before 2002. <laughs> You didn't play Fortnite in 2002? Nope. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to... There's like, some modeling boots behind. Other... Yeah, I know. I was gonna, like, tank it, but... Nah, I guess I'll have to use the modeling boots. Yeah. Not yeah, that it's a huge deal, though. Like... Oh no, I will die and lose one life. Wait, I only have seven? You, oh, oh, right, yeah, it, it it resets every time you, like, close the game. Honestly, if I was in charge of this version, I would have just, uh... I would've gotten rid of lives, life. yeah. I would, yeah, I would've just gotten rid of lives altogether. Yeah, I know it would've probably made for some awkward spaces and stuff like that, but who fucking cares? I feel like everyone plays Skyrim. At least to some degree. Everyone at least uh, played Skyrim at one point. I've played it a few times. I've never actually I, played it, but I played it. Yeah, I game. I say that having not played Skyrim once. I own it on like I own at least the PS4 version. I think I have it on Steam as well. And I've never played either of them. My mom my mom played this. She doesn't really play games anymore, but when I was younger she played games. Ooh, yeah, my nice. parents my parents were both like into games to some degree. My dad like, was. My mom more so. Like, my dad just really liked the Game Gear. My dad was really into games. I think I've said that before. Yeah. My dad was a, my dad was a fake gamer because all he played was sports games. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. My, my dad played sports games with his brother and stuff like that. With my uncle. Um, his brother, I guess. But, like... The fucked up thing is I can't actually tell if you're, like, being serious when you say that, Darren. No, I'm being serious. Yeah, no, he's told me the story. Dad only played, like, Wayne Gretzky 3D. Yeah, he was super obsessed Spe with, um... Specifically, Wayne Gretzky's, Wayne Gretzky's 3D. 3D. Yeah. yeah. He would play that a lot on the 64. To be fair, I like that game, too. I get it. He's good. <laughs> that is one of the few sports games I actively enjoyed. Yeah. I'm trying I to... Actually... I'm trying to think if there's actually any sports games at all that I've liked, aside from, like, racing games. I really... I, I really liked NHL 02 on the PS2. NHL hit Oh, yeah, like... Yeah. There's also, also, of course, Madden 08. You know, Game of I've the Year every that. year. Madden 08 is really good. Yeah, Madden 08, Game of the Year 2007. Of all the Madden I've ever played, Baron, Madden 08 was the one that, you know, was the best. It was the one that made you fall in love with sports games forever. Yeah. 
I think I kind of stopped liking sports games when my older brother would, like, turn off the GameCube on me so we could play Madden. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's potentially racist. He is potentially racist, actually. Wait, I was looking away. Who? Uh, I think his name's, like, okay. Ruby. Like this guy. Little mushroom head. Yeah. He has a croissant on his head. Oh, croissant head. That's funnier. I should well, order some food. Lily, the croissant. You know, the voice I give him in my head is also probably racist. Oh, I, it's not racist to be like mean to the French. True. <laughs> Uh, where does Kobe go next? Like, right at the start, yeah, okay. My dad used to play, like, my dad, like, I remember when I was a kid, like, just watching my dad play Final Fantasy VII all the time. I used to watch my mom play Final Fantasy VII a lot. Like, cause, like, that was her favorite game, so she would just, like, play it and replay it constantly. That was my dad, too. Yeah. He was just always, like, I just remember, like, like watching... Like, before I actually played games, I was, like, maybe, like, one or two. And I would just be, like, sitting in my mom's lap while she was playing Final Fantasy VII. I would just go downstairs, because, you know, I was, like, two years old, and my dad was, like, well, I wasn't two or three. But, like, I was too young to play games at the time as well, I think. And so... I think eventually my dad let me try Mario Kart out. And then I kicked his ass and never played a video game again after that. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. That didn't actually happen. I think the last game my didn't... grandma played was, like, Tetris Attack. Uh, didn't you say, like, your first game was, like, a putt-putt game? Um, no. Um, I wouldn't say so. Or, they were like, a, like a humongous adventures game, anyway. I don't think so. Um, I don't think they were, no. I, um, I, I could have really game... said that at some point, but maybe I'm mistaken. I was joking about the whole Mario Kart 64 thing. The first game I either played was either... The first game I played, I fully played was either Super Mario 64 or Wario Land 2. Man. It's gotta be one of those two. Yeah, I think the first I video game... Five. The first I game I one. ever played was Crash Bandicoot. Mine was either, like, Super Mario Col World or 64, Col I remember. Colton, I misread you saying that. Like, I... I read that as you saying while sitting high in a chair, like, like your first memory is just your dad fucking toked off his board playing Mario, being like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey look at look at the red guy." That is a nice memory, though, Colton. That is a cozy memory. Oh no, I used to just go downstairs when my dad would get home from work. He would usually be pretty late, and he'd just be like, "Hey, I, I... want to play Final Fantasy VII for a bit," and my mom would be like, "Okay." Yeah, your like dad, your dad had a FF7 addiction. It wasn't an addiction. Yeah, that was his addiction to heroin. <laughs> My dad's addicted to work. That's the problem. Oh no. Yeah. It, it's a serious problem, in my opinion. Um, I think you. I think I remember you talking about that. Wasn't this like? his health like in bad shape at some point because of that it's always been in bad shape because he overworks himself yeah yeah that seems I mean, oh, that seems to be just like a big problem with people from that generation in general is just yeah. overwork What's, what sucks is he has enough money to retire and live comfortably but he's, he's like in his mid 60s now isn't he he's 62 i think yeah. Uh, 61. 61. So... You know... But yeah, a big problem he has is he just... He does. He just overworks himself. And he did, he did attempt to retire a few years ago, but like, a bunch of companies would always call him and be like, Hey, Kev, um, here's some, uh, we have a job offer for you. And then he had I mean, 50 I can't even million doing jobs. That at 62. 61? I mean, he does it. 
Wait, what, what job does he have? He's the C he's like the CFO of like three companies now. Uh My dad, like, he has a degree in, like, I think carpentry. I, I'm not entirely certain what it is. He changes what his, like, degree was in, like, every five minutes. Um, but it doesn't matter because he's never once used it. I wonder why and, he wouldn't do a degree in carpentry because that's actually a good I don't degree know. to have. But, like, he has a degree in something he doesn't use... And, like, he's basically just been working, like, shitty retail jobs his entire life. He very recently finally got a decent-paying job, like, at a state facility. He's, like... Yeah, wow. Like, the same one that my brother's in. Um... Oh, I just realized, I forgot to get the... The honeycomb. Yeah, the honeycomb, yeah, the honeycomb inside that. Yeah, no, my dad pretty much... The first thing my dad did... And I tell it a lot. He, the first job he had in his degree field was he worked under Donald Trump. Man. He hates that man. I mean, I mean, a lot of people did. Work is work. Yeah, no, yeah. He, said, he said it paid really well, but God, he hated that man. Yeah. And, like, like, just because he, like, worked under Trump at some point, like, doesn't really mean much. I feel like, like... Oh, for sure. like, I don't... I don't particularly like most of the people I work under at my fucking oh, shit-ass redneck Walmart. But I mean, hey, working under Trump got him enough money to actually open his own business. Yeah. So, I can't really blame him there. Yeah. Like, we got a new store manager recently who's, like, generally a lot better than the guy we had before who, like, didn't do shit and, like, for all I knew, just, like, smoked weed in the back all the time. I guess he got fired or transferred. He transferred to another store, yeah. Um, Man, at Walgreens... Because, like, I never market. saw him anywhere in the store. When I worked at Walgreens, store managers... like Yo, Basha it's Basha. Came. Hello. Hey, Basha. We're in the no. Gobi Valley. We're, like, almost done with it, actually. Uh, this is, like, the last major objective we have. Yeah, it's me, Liv, and also Darren joined in as well. Darren sent me a death threat. It was very sad. It's true. These are the yeah. facts. I'm doing pretty decent tonight, though. But yeah. I'm doing good. I'm definitely a lot less nervous when I was the uh, last stream around. Yeah. Hey, Bashnet. Did I, did I pronounce that right? I probably yeah. didn't. I think that's how she pronounces it. Yeah, it's pronounced that I, way. I assumed it was, like, supposed to be, like, Boshnack, because, like, yeah. her name's Basha. But... Yeah. Yeah. Good old Bashnet. Uh, was that all of them? Yeah. Yeah, that's everything. Okay. I'm gonna move on to Mad Monster Mansion, which is my favorite level in the game. Yeah. Life phone uh, uh, is cool. Uh, I I would have I would have just called on uh the laptop, but the Ethernet cable keeps unplugging, and if I tried to do that on Wi-Fi, it would just like fuck up. Yeah, yeah I gotcha. Wi-Fi is not I mean, great. So I mean, I'm just like. I mean, you so sound fine on this. Data, yeah. So I mean, I'm on my phone with yeah. beta, but, like, it's getting super hot, so I might have to, like, um, get out of this, like, the Discord stream, but I'll still be here. Yeah. And I'm also charging it, because it's almost dead. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's the Xbox 360 version? Yeah, this is the 360 version played through Xenia which is an Xbox 360 emulator for PC with a patch to make it run at 60 FPS. It introduces a handful of bugs, but nothing particularly major. Because a lot of them have been patched. I wouldn't necessarily call well, the Xbox version a remaster. I mean, it literally is. Like, it's the same, like, textures, like, slightly... 
yeah, slightly upscaled. Um, and the resolution is of course higher. And there's like a like an anti-aliasing filter to make it look a little less uh, jaggy. So yeah, it's it's remastered to a degree. Wow. All right, let's go into this room now. Yeah, Tui is going to be the one that's really weird to see at 60 FPS when I get to that, because that ran at, like, fucking 10 at best on N64. It ran like crap on N64. I actually yeah. did play Tui on 60 FPS, but it was on Project 64, so it's not stable. Yeah. Yeah, um, once I finish this, like, the plan is, like, I'm gonna, like, do Tui alongside another game. Um, mostly some, like, shorter games, like, around this game's length. Uh, cause Tui's, like, a good bit longer than this one. But, like, it's gonna be, like, once a week is Tui, once a week is the other game. Yeah. Banjo Tui is better because it has guns in it. Um, I'll be there for the Tui streams, but Jody wants to try some other things solo. Yeah. But yeah, um. My opinion on Tui is, I think Kazooie is better, but I like Tui more. Tui is better because there's guns, drugs, and sex in the game. Oh yeah, that's 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 correct, actually. Yeah, that's actually true. I, sure. I was gonna say Kazooie's better, but yeah, there is no sex grunting at the end. <laughs> oh, uh, can we get this? No, okay, can't reach that. This is still my favorite overworld theme of all time, and I don't know why. But yeah, um... Fun fact, uh, for people who don't know, this... This game's overworld theme for Grunty's Lair is actually, like, very, like... Heavily remixed from, uh, like, an old nursery rhyme song. Yeah, yeah, the bear theme. Called, oh, yeah, I called, think like, I remember something yeah, like that. Yeah, called, like, Teddy Bear's Picnic. Yeah, Grace Picnic, that's right. Yeah. 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 Kind of thing. I think I heard that from, like, an old Game Grumps episode where Grant Kirkup was on there. Yeah. That's how I learned British slang words for testicles. Yeah, same. My favorite one is, like, the meaning behind Lord Who Fuck Fuck. Wait, what? I don't Lord think I remember this fuck. one. What's this? So, well, what's well so... see, here's the thing. You know what happens when you fuck fuck? You say yeah, woo. Yeah, well, I've never Lord. done it, but... So, what? so the story behind Lord Who... <laughs> I, sorry, I was, like, talking when you said that I didn't hear you. So the story behind Lord Who Fuck Fuck is... So the story behind Lord Who Fuck Fuck is that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> is that, uh... <laughs> okay, Jody's laughing. I'm just laughing because he keeps saying it. Anyway, anyway, so so there was this one guy <laughs> at, at Rare who, went, he was a programmer, and every time something would go wrong, he would go, fuck, fuck. And then whenever, and then whenever something would go right, he would go, woo! <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Is this actual uh, trivia? Because that actually sounds like something that would be real trivia. That is, that is real trivia. <laughs> Look at, go go to the Lord Who Fuck Fuck uh, page on a Lord Who Fuck Fuck page uh, for Banjo Kazooie, and let me see what it says. Trivia. Lord Lord Who Fuck Who Fuck Fuck. Name was inspired by Paul <laughs> Machaki, an engineer at Rare who sweared a lot when he found glitches in the code, and then screamed "woo" when they were fixed. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, is there anything in here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Yes, yeah. oh, feathers. I don't really understand these rooms. They seem kind of useless. 
All of them are, yeah. Oh, hi, Joe. Joe's back. Uh, oh, what ghost? Oh, you mean like the ghost in this level? Yeah, I know that. Um, I'm trying to think of like some other like interesting banjo trivia. Oh, um, one funny trivia I think is the pots in this level. They say thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like, keep resubmitting, like. Yeah, like, like so. Let me let me let me, let me tell this because like was saying because like yeah, people kept hearing it as that. He kept hearing, I was like, fuck you. And, like, apparently, like, Nintendo heard it like that as well, because they kept making him redo that. Yeah. That's so funny. Let's see another one. I think I'll discuss that one later. Uh, okay. Down there. It's up like. Oh, there's that. Let's get that. Yeah. A more fuck you voice clip. I guess. I guess another piece of trivia is Lord Woof. Lord Woof. Woof. Fuck. Fuck. Can only be can be fought as a submarine. No, you can fight him as a not submarine. You can he can be fought as a submarine. He's the only boss that can be fought with a transformation now. Yeah. But you said he can only be fought with a submarine, which Oh I did not hear an actual way an actual boss yeah. named it. Yeah. Yeah, Lord Uh F A K F A K. You probably read it as fact fact. But it's pronounced fuck fuck. Well, I don't remember that boss at all because I haven't. Uh, I don't. Wait, that's in the uh, Jolly Roger Bay world, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jolly Roger yeah, Bay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've fought the boss in that world. Um. What are your opinions on Jolly Rogers Brigade? I like it. It's nice. Oh. Jody, what is your opinions on Jolly Rogers Lagoon? Uh, that's. That's one of my favorite levels in 2 I think. Mm. Like... I'm gonna have to replay that in, like, say for certain, but right now I think that's my favorite. I would say mine's either Hailfire Peaks, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, or... Yeah, Witchy like World. these ghosts, right? Yeah. Yeah, Witchy World's also a good one. Witchy World is great. Also like Hailfire Peaks, I like the fire and ice theme. Yeah. I've only gotten as far as Pterodactyl Land. Motherfucker. Why do you do this? Because, well, as you said, I am the motherfucker himself. <laughs> so, the motherfucker himself. And you know, you know what they say, you know, this is a very common saying. Motherfucker, or people who don't, uh... Play past Pterodactyl Land and Banjo Tooie are real motherfuckers, so. I'm sorry, Gunny's industry discard you for life. Who? I don't. I mean, I've been to Gunny's industries, but I couldn't figure out how to get in. You know, I I want to. Yeah, that's industries. that's a big like stepping stepping point, a uh, stopping point for a lot of people. Is just yeah. trying to figure out how the fuck you're supposed to get into Grundy Industries. Oh, I'm right. surprised I figured it out as a kid, knowing how stupid I was. <laughs> yeah. You know, I gotta say, though, Guardians Industry might be, like, probably the worst level in the game, objectively. Speaking. No, no, no. No? No, like... I um, like it, though, personally. I'm trying to think, like, whether I... I like Terry Dactyland more than Glitter Gulch you know what? I'm trying to think whether it's worse, though. Because, I mean, I mean, draw for me to like Terry Dactyland is just because dinosaurs and I'm autistic. Yeah, no, I get it. I like uh, I, yeah, I really didn't like Terry Dactyland. My biggest issue with Terry Dactyland is everything is just so spaced out. Level yeah. is... Yeah, it takes like, it takes like fucking 
20 minutes to get one Jiggy in that level. But yeah, at the same time, it has dinosaurs in it, you're right. And I fucking yeah. love dinosaurs. Yeah. Because what autistic kid does not like dinosaurs? Yeah. Darren, you're being honestly what? quiet. Older... Oh, yeah, there are sorry. There things autistic kids love. Dinosaurs and trains. Uh, I, actually, I, I actually don't like trains that much. Like, they're Man. okay. Like, I like the aesthetic of riding on one, but I'm not really, like, into trains as, like, a thing. God, this level, though. I don't know why. Like, this level did not scare me as a kid, but Gobi's yeah. Valley, for some reason, did. Yeah, I need to get that one, too. Like, why was it, like, the haunted level where I was like, oh, cool, haunted level? Me? But then stuff like Gobi's Valley, I'm all like, oh, no, scaly hand. <laughs> Not even I, not even I can do the Timmy laugh anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw like I saw the viewer count shoot up for like a split second and then immediately drop back down to five. Oh, uh, it takes a minute. It takes like a minute for that thing to update. By the way, people left as soon as uh, as soon as we started referencing Timmy. <laughs> they hate the Timmy LP studio. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the Timmy LP Studios, the one and only. What? Don't you hate Timmy? The LP bitch Studios? himself, Timothy Let Us Play Studios. Timothy Let Us Plays Studios. Someone probably like played Scooby Doo GBA and then it's guard them for life. Think about that. I've never, I've never really played any Scooby Doo games before. I have Castle Creeper Capers on, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, N64. Should I do that for like a stream sometime? Just play that game? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I want to do on stream at some point is Superman 64, even though I'm just. I'm still I'm fucking the... mentally insane. Yeah. I want to like. I want to like, like do some. Something. I want to do some like right. one off streams of bad games sometimes. So I smelled something burning, but it was from outside, but I thought it was actually my phone. I was like, oh no. If that would be very concerning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my phone does... When my phone overheats, what it tends to do is, uh... When my phone overheats, it tends to, you know... My phone doesn't really overheat, but I don't really use it for much. Besides, like, checking Twitter and Discord. I use my phone for mostly everything, actually. I mean, I spend most of my time just, like, sitting in my computer. Like, if I ever, working. like... If I ever become, like, you know, self-employed, where, like, you know, I'm doing, like, a job where I work on my computer, I probably will spend most of my time on my computer. I mean, technically, you do do a job, like, at a computer. It's just not, like... the computer you use for things. Yeah. And kind of my setup right now doesn't, like, allow me to, like, you know... Use my computer like twenty four seven. Yeah. What I think I'm gonna do is when I get my second desk is get myself another monitor and then get my put my work monitor on the uh, get myself put my work monitor on the uh, on this get put, put my old desk in one corner of the room and put my uh, oh right yeah and put my new desk in the other side of the room. You know, actually, I should look into doing that next week. Oh, man. I'm getting one of my bonuses next week as well, so... Maybe I'll get a desk and then put the rest of my savings. The bonus is just Big Macs. <laughs> it's about a thousand bucks. You could spend so much of those on Big Macs. You could be Steven... Hell yeah. I could be Steven and Blake. Yeah. Two people at the same time. <laughs> you could be Siamese twins. 
Blake and Steven. Yeah, but Blake, hey, does, you... Blake doesn't get Big Macs, he gets Whataburgers. Hey, what are you guys' thoughts on the new lore that Eric lives in the library at Jack's boarding school? Man. I like that lore a lot. Logically consistent, if nothing it is, else. It is very rich lore to go back to. Oh, God damn it! I forgot to get the door. How could you? You know, watching the VOD back from yesterday's stream kind of made me realize something. I've played this game, like, so many times that I just instinctively think I've done things that I haven't. Yeah. Done, 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 done. I also really like Mad Monster Mansion music as well, though. Yeah, this is a really good thing. I remember, like, the first time I played this, played DK64, it was, like, after I played this, of course, and, like, you know, oh, whoa, like, whoa, whoa, Creepy whoa. Castle and stuff, I was always just, like, I was always, like, dang, the Creepy Castle music kind of reminds, a lot of the music in Creepy Castle reminds me of, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, I don't know why. I mean, same composer. Now I know why I could same composer, exactly. <laughs> can I not, can you not get over here? Guess not. Weird. Maybe he's dead on the inside. I mean, he's dead, like, on the outside, too. He is literally a ghost. True. That's gonna be the rest of the stream. We we <laughs> run out of things to say, and we just obviously. Here's Matsum, our very special friend. Oh, right. I like this objective. I don't know why anyone thought this would be a challenge. Like maybe they expect people to like not think to do this as he plays it. Maybe. But like, literally, literally. What do you guys think of the hit video game that has, that has the critics Going wild, uh, Paperboy 64. I think it's a work of art. I think it is too. <laughs> I like that one image of, uh, Paperboy's model where his arms aren't even connected to his body. Yeah, isn't that like the one that you're using as an avatar now? No, um, that's, oh, that's a, a different, different one? one. That's just the box art. He's using the box art. I thought you were talking about the box art. No, there's another image that I was thinking about. You know, if I ever do that N64 series, I'm looking forward to the review of Paperboy 64. <laughs> uh, Zelda fan 266. Uh, thank you for following. How's it going? Damn it. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. True. Okay, uh, hey, Holden's is uh, not subscribed. Followed. I don't even have affiliate yet. You can't even subscribe. Soon you will. Well, then again, it took me like half a year to get to affiliate, from what I remember. Yeah. I don't know if I'm even like necessarily gonna go for affiliate right away, just because like. I don't know. 
Like maybe once I'm like more, you know, into the culture. Fair enough. I, I mean, I just went for it because it's you know, inevitably it's like you know, hundred extra bucks like, in my bank account. Yeah, it's it's inevitably like something you're gonna go for at some point, but you know. So like. Well, that's why I kind of did the Twitch affiliate thing was because you know, yeah, but I, I'm not, but I'm not looking to like go out of my way to like try to get it as soon as possible or anything. Again, I mean, I can either, this is this like, is basically just something I'm doing because it's fun. I wasn't really going for it either, but like Bostra basically advertised my stuff. Man, and I was just like, well, if I qualify, why the hell not? Yeah. Although I say that, I, and I do actually have, like, alerts set up for all of those, like... Well, I mean, hey, just future proof. Like I need to get alert set up for all that stuff. For, for like, Cheers, um... Surfing as well. Uh, I even have one for raids, even though I don't have raids enabled right now. Honestly, I think I'm gonna just keep raids disabled for now. And I'll, I'll probably enable them, like, after... Like, this one's done. Like, not this specific stream, but, like, this game. Yeah. I just didn't want them for the first one because I didn't want to, like, immediately freeze up. Fair. Yeah, you, you just get raided by 30 people and you just collapse. Well, not, like, 30 like people. 90. I just I just feel like, like, when I'm nervous as hell already, I don't want to have, like, immediately yeah. there's a raid coming in and I just freeze up immediately. Just freeze up immediately. That's the problem and with me and raids in general, though, is I just feel like whenever I do... I, I think, you know, if it was like, you know... I feel like... That was everything that was in there, right? I think so. Because I feel like I do freeze up when raids happen. I wish there was like just... A, I think I should just... I think what I should just do is just re-enable them and be, Okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna be like, uh... If, someone, if people come in, I'm just gonna... Act like I normally do. Yeah. No introductions, no nothing. You know what? If people, if people expect me to introduce myself to them, then I'm sorry. You're not going to get a special introduction. I'm just going to say, "Hi, I'm Olivia." That's it. Man. I don't have much to say about myself. And I like P. That's how you should introduce <laughs> yourself. Honestly, I think part of the reason I don't want to say that is because. Some people are gonna see that as like you know cringe and then unfollow, and then just oh, and they're, they're they're the ones that are actually cringe if you think about it. True. Yeah, I've 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 met people like that. They're <laughs> surprise surprise are actually insufferable. Yeah. Like oh, basically like every time I see someone like constantly like talk about how oh I hate immature humor I hate immature. How dare you make the poop joke? It's like they're just like the most fucking annoying crotchety dude yeah. in existence. Yeah. And I've met a good amount of people who are like that too, and it's just like I try to humor's funny to me. Yeah. Well, not even just like that, or just like having like just super weird humor, and then people are oh, just yeah. like, "It's cringe." It's how I feel yeah. about two certain people in groups I'm in. It's just like, well, uh, normie spotted, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's how I feel about, like, two people in some groups I'm in right now. Yeah. I'm not gonna state who they are, because they might watch the bot of this. Yeah, let, let's not, <laughs> like... Let's not, like, bring personal drama in. I felt okay, like, bringing up, like, Banjo-Kazooie forum people. Yeah. Just because, like... Those people that's go under, like, different names, and they probably agree that they were cringe by now. Yeah, yeah, well... And, like, I have no problem bringing up, like, Super Game Kid guy, because, number one, he's not gonna see this. I mean, who knows if he's still even... Still even alive? alive himself? Yeah. Who's even... Who even knows if he's even alive? Yeah. You know what that reminds me of, though? I remember, like, I was watching a fucking... Not watching. Um, I checked up on Dark Side Phil recently, just for shits and giggles. Like, sometimes I like to check up on 
weird people. Um, and yeah. he made this, like, post about, like, I didn't know what game he was talking about, but he was talking about some game being like, like, I just feel like the humor of this game is a bit too immature, and, like, compared to the first game, and, I don't know, it feels like they're pandering to a younger audience, and as a man in his 40s, I, I can't, I can't deal with this, and... Then I'm like, what game is he talking about? And it was Destroy All Humans 2. Oh my god, Early. that's the first game with the game. <laughs> yeah. God. The first game also has that kind of humor as well. Yeah, what the fuck did he play? What did you play, uh? What did you like, play? This is the same guy who made really cheap sexist jokes that <laughs> were, like, just so poorly executed. Yeah. Like, still 95% of his jokes are just shit like... Saying, like, the fuck word a lot, I guess. Yeah. One of my favorite Dark Side film moments was that moment whenever he tried to, like, eat ramen, but couldn't. Yeah! He was trying to... That, that video is fucking iconic. <laughs> you know, oh, like... He just, like, spilled... Like, while he was making it, he just spilled... Like water all over his desk. <laughs> you have that was so notes. fucking funny. funny. You have 69 notes, that's so funny. Wham. 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 Really getting in that dark side of philium energy. No, I'm, I'm, I have the Jimmy energy. Jimmy I mean, who? aren't they the same? Jimmy from uh... the Eric lore? Yeah. Yeah, from Eric. Yeah. You know, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, are Jimmy, Jimmy. Are Jimmy and Darkseid feel really the same? Well, they're a similar idea, I guess. I don't know. I'd have to, like, decide on something like that. Like, um... Here's my question for you. Oh, whoop, whoop. Here's an important question related to Jimmy. What? When will Jimmy finally play games? We'll see. Where is, like, Jimmy in the lore now? Is he still captured by Eric? Uh, I forget. He'll be somewhere, he'll be somewhere else next time we do a video, probably. The last time we heard uh, from that character was from the ukulele videos, I think. I, no, I don't think so. I think there was an Eric video we did where he, uh, showed up and... Uh, well, I never what am I doing? That one because the files got corrupted. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. We need to redo that one at some point. Yeah. We also need to do the second episode of uh, Jack Before Crack. Yeah. <laughs> Where Jack meets Jackson oh. for the first time. Yeah. I iconic gamer moment. I like how we're we're like in our like little. Uh world to click where no one else is understanding what we're talking about. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't lost any viewers from this. Hey, that's, you know, it's probably because we're having a normal ass conversation and not talking about things like the time I peed on my dad. Yeah. I mean, you should talk about that. Uh, let's not, actually. You know, I would talk about it, but... But I, I specifically forgot. told but, you, you know, not to. Yeah, and number two... I know I brought it up in the stream because it came back to me in a memory, but, you know, I forgot the reason I peed on him. What if I just, like, what if I just went even oh, right. more unhinged and just talked about the raccoon eye story? The what? <laughs> I mean, oh, uh... I think that's a funny story to tell, personally. You don't know about the raccoon eye story, Jody? Unless I'm mishearing, though. Um... So I remember I was like five and my dad was like visiting, he was like really drunk. And uh I called him by his real name and he's like, If you don't if you don't call me dad, I'm gonna give you the rat tuna <laughs> And then uh my mom got mad at him and kicked him out and then he threatened to shoot us all up later that night, but he never did. Cause he was a Man. coward. God. He's dead now. Yeah. Someone gave him- someone gave him the rat kunai. 
<laughs> yeah, and it was it was God himself. Didn't he so, die from like? So are you saying like? Person? So are you saying like raccoonai or raccoonai? Raccoonai, like you know how raccoons have like dark eyes oh, and stuff. Oh, or... raccoon eye. Okay. R yeah, raccoon eye. Did he like once threaten to shoot up like your neighbors as well? Yeah, he did. Um. Cause, well, this was actually like, this was like a, you know, a good thing, I guess, that my dad did. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, but like he was defending my oldest sister. But um, yeah, one of our neighbors was like intimidating, intimidating uh, my oldest sister, and um, uh, my dad uh, actually like threatened him with a gun or something. After he oh. found out about that, oh, yeah. I, got the... I mean, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> One invincibility feather. One singular invincibility feather. Isn't this like the only mumbo that you like come to from head on? Like straight on, like this? I think so. Or that one specifically. I think you should. I think you should. Uh... <sighs> I don't know where I was going with that. I think you should. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should. I think you should. I think I can. I think I. Someone can. needs to give. I, someone needs to give Gruntilda the um raccoon eye. Honestly. Yeah. Someone, someone, someone's got to do something about burnt a little bit. You know, I wonder why there's 24 honeycomb pieces in this. My game. God, like, I, I, I genuinely don't know if I'm mishearing it or not because it sounds like you're saying Rac like, rat, like, okay, raccoon, okay. Yeah. Because it, it sounds like you were saying like rat, coon. <laughs> My rat favorite coon. species of animals, rat coon. Raccoon, you know, like. You know, the, 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 spe the raccoon is the like special, one the special like mix between like a rat and a raccoon. You know, a raccoon, you know, like that one animal in Guardian of the Galaxy. Uh, That's a Marvel thing, right? Rocket Beaver. Yeah. Yeah, rat kunai. That was what I was hearing it like at the first. And then he was saying it like rat coon. I. Rat Rocket is actually one of my favorite superheroes ever. Yeah, you like put a lot of emphasis on like the, so like it sounds like you're yeah. like splitting the words. A raccoon. Yeah. That's probably how I should say it. Chin probably yeah. A raccoon. Chin yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's a. There's like a sippy straw down here somewhere. Yeah, I want to go down to sippy straw. Take Here's a, a sippy, sippy straw. straw. Here's a sippy straw. I do want to stream this game at some point. Um. Yeah. Trash um, panda. I'm probably going to head out just so my phone doesn't overheat. Okay. Okay. Uh, see ya. See you all yeah. later. Have good a good having luck you. with the rest of the stream. Yeah. See ya. Good having you. See ya. Okay, um, that was darn word. Yeah. He says darn word sometimes. Yeah, follow him on he doesn't stream, but sometimes he might be in the chat as like sleazy weasel time. And I'm fallible at uh, another Twitch channel. What? And I'm followable at another Twitch channel where I do actually stream sometimes. Yeah, that's live a live with an underscore between uh, each letter. Or not each letter, each word. Uh, feel free to like say a word in chat so people can just like see what your channel is. I just did that. Yeah. I just did your favorite emote ever. It's the one Man. you did whenever I woke up like just really tired and because I'm really tired I'm like super blunt and then... And then you like showed me like my character, and I was like, "Oh wow, she's really cute." Man. Yeah. Um. For those who don't know, I'm like helping her design an OC. 
basically. Uh, for reasons that I'm not gonna say for the time being. Because she, like, asked me to keep that part secret. But also because I'm awful at character design and art in general. Yeah. And Jody pretty much understands my style, so I'm all like, hmm. Yeah. Like, the first draft, I, like, basically did under her more or less exact, like, orders. And then, like, the second one, I accidentally, like, forgot a few of the things from the first one, because I did it without a reference. Honestly, I think going forward, I'm just gonna tell you to go all out. Man. So I kind of prefer the second design anyway, just because it feels like you put more heart into it. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to let you do your own thing. Yeah. I mean, I can't really think of, like, much that I would change for it, personally. Honestly, I should have just let you do that to begin with. Yeah. But... I think, you know, giving you orders at the same time. And I do want to kind of improve my art, but it's just, you know, I'm just graphic, and so it kind of hurts me to, like, even hold, like, stylus sometimes. Man. For those who don't know, dysgraphia is, like, a writing disability. Yeah. Right now, it's jumping well. I think that's, like, basically the last thing I have left to do. Right? Yeah, last so. jiggy. Alright, uh, what's the totals look like? Yeah, the only things missing are some notes, which should be these ones right here. Yeah. Oh. Bonk. There we go. Also, Jody might co-host with me sometimes on Xenoblade. Yeah. If she's feeling up to it. Yeah. Usually when she or if I like, or if I like have the time even, because like, yeah, because she always streams like a lot of times when she streams, I'm at work, so I can't always be there. But then also sometimes whenever I whenever I stream, you're just tired from you know work and stuff. Yeah. Which is understandable. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Gotta leave the land. Leave the land. That is everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Think you're gonna do Rusty Bucket Bay, or do you think you're gonna... Uh, yeah, I can go a little bit longer and do Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. Oh, bonk. Damn, this dude goes fast. I don't think he's supposed to go that fast. You're gonna get the red feather cheater now. What? No. Do the red. Okay. No, I don't usually get the cheats. But then the next game is gonna have some non-canon elements to it. So. That's racist. No. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, I think... You know what is one... racist, though? What? Racism. True. Oh, wait, no, one I guess thing... this Mumbo... Well, I guess he's technically the same Mumbo. One thing I do want to do before next game is just get some good notifications in, I guess. Man. Which maybe I'll show me how to do that tonight. Anyway. Oh, right, yeah. Gotta... I remember as a kid, it took yeah, me, like, 20 deal. minutes to leave this room after, like... <laughs> after, like, getting Banjo, because... When I was uh, a kid, I got stuck on this part because I didn't know you could, like, break down that fence. Yeah. And I was like, where's the... Like, how do I get to the next world? Man, I remember as a kid, so, so Next World, I'll have, I'm going to tell a funny story once you start listening to the music of Next World, but I have a really funny story about Next World. Man. I actually tweeted Greg Krokop about it one time. I love how, like, 
wet, like how much of a wet slap landing as the pumpkin sounds like. I remember I actually tweeted to Grant Kirkhope about the trivia I have going that I'm about to like share about Rusty Bucket Bay, but like. Yeah, you can say it now. I mean, okay, pretty much, so, pretty much everyone's here has played the game. So, for, so, so when I was in third grade, when I was in third grade, I used to, uh, you know, my, I guess my autism was severe back then, way more, way less, less under control, less medicated and stuff. And so, like, one thing I used to do in class all the time is just, like, like just sing the Rusty Bucket Bay theme in class while doing work and stuff like that. And yeah. I got detention because of it so many times. <laughs> and I remember like, uh, so like, I remember like a few years ago, like I was, like when I was like new at Twitter and stuff like that. Um, so probably like 2000, I don't remember when I like started using my account. I know I opened it in 2012, but I don't think I started using it until later. Um, I actually DM. I actually like tweeted at Grant Kirkhope, and I was all like, "Hey, just want to let you know when I was in uh when I was in third grade, I used to uh, I got in huge trouble because uh, I would always get detention because I would I would like sing the music to Rusty Bucket Bay, and he just like and he he actually liked the tweet, and I think he retweeted it as well. Yeah, Grant seems like a good guy. I met him at a convention one time. He is. Yeah. I retold told the story there. <laughs> and he was laughing about it. He thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I, I mentioned last stream, but, like, my only experience, like, meeting a famous person that I can remember is, like, someone I didn't even know, like, about at all. I don't remember who it was with me, but I met someone who did that to me as well. And, um... He was like, hey, do you know who I am? And I'm like... Yeah, aren't you that guy? He's like, what guy? I'm like, that guy. Because, and that's like my default response if I don't know who someone is. Yeah, aren't you that guy? Man. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do it this way. Like, I could do it the other way, but this way's a little bit funnier. True. Like, I think this is the intended way you're supposed to go about it, but the other way is, like, so easy to just do without thinking that a lot of people don't realize. So, like, you can, like, you can, like, make it to where this gate, this grate here, is completely unbreakable. I think that's funny. I didn't even know that was doable, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that for the longest time, because I always did it the other way. I think I'm going to rename my Xenoblade streams to Funny Sword Game. Man. I still think that title is more uh, welcoming. Yeah. Do that or people are going to assume it's a penis pun. Man. What is your favorite rendition of Grunty's from Tilda's the Player? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have, like, a preference for versions of Grunty's Lair theme. I mean, I like all of them, but I think my personal favorite is Furnace Fun. I don't know. Hard to say. Like, the one I always listen to is just, like, the normal one that plays when Neither you're not, like, in a particular area. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. Either that or I listen to Furnace Fun. Yeah. God, that furnace fun one is just kind of jazzy as fuck. Yeah, that's a good one. But I, I do think, just in general, that Grunny's Lair is my favorite overall theme ever. Yeah, it's a really good one. Oh yeah, the Click Clock Wood one's really oh, good. Oh, Click Clock one's also good. I agree, I agree. I agree. Is there anything Kirk Hope is- Well, okay, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of ukulele soundtrack. Yeah, I like the ukulele soundtrack. I'm more mixed on it, there's some I like, some I don't like. Yeah, I'm- It's not as strong as Kazooie and Tooie, but it's- yeah. It's pretty solid. 
Hell, Nuts and Bolts is really solid as well. Yeah. You know, I kind of get why it wasn't, but I'm kind of disappointed there was no Nuts and Bolts music in Smash Bros. Damn. I would have at least thrown Grunny Battle in there. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's... I don't know why I'm going for this first. I, don't, I usually, like, beeline it straight to the engine room. Yeah, I'm the same way. The engine room gives me anxiety. Uh, it doesn't give me anxiety, because I use a cheat to, like, skip it. Basically. I want to see what you do. I'm interested. Okay. This is gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna, like, beeline it there, like I usually do. Yeah. And this is gonna be really funny. Yeah, the green coffin isn't super useful. Okay, um... I think for this one... I could get it by, like... Uh, timing a flat flip. Like well enough, but I want to do it this way because I think this is the way they intended. Oh, that was too low. I just usually back jump. Yeah, that's what I usually do. But, uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wait, that actually worked. I'm I'm fucking stupid. I always did it the hard way. Okay, I actually forgot, like, to uh, switch the things so the fans were going slower. I mean, that's um, what I don't want to do, so... Yeah. So, we're gonna go do that right now, real quick. I thought you said there was, like, some sort of cheat you used. Yeah. I did not know that it was a thing. Yeah! <laughs> it's like the funniest thing in the world. Was that in the N64 version? Yeah, you, yeah, you can do it in the, X, the N64 version too. I'm pretty sure you can do it from the other way around as well. Um... Couldn't you? I did remember it being a little harder, but... Yeah. Okay, so let's go back around again. What if the funny bear game wasn't a funny bear game, but instead a game where you play as a, uh... I don't know what I was gonna say, so never mind. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, how this quote went. It was from, like, that donkey video. It was, like, when he said that they were making a game called FPS, where you play as a soulless serial rightness, or whatever the fuck. Man, I missed when I liked that guy. Yeah, I missed when he wasn't just, like, constantly, like, baiting reactions. Which I guess is kind of like a, you know, kind of something you have to do in this current climate, but it's but still I mean, annoying. It's kind of also hypocritical of him because of his game reviewers video. Yeah, I got that. There we go. Yum. Where he specifically said that he doesn't particularly enjoy JRPGs, so... Yeah, I mean... 
I mean, it's fine for him to, like, keep playing them, even though he doesn't generally like them. Because, like, yeah, as you said, like, sometimes you find the one game in the genre you do like. Yeah. But the problem is he then makes the same, like, stupid-ass videos, like, just, like, bitching about the fact that they're RPGs, basically. Yeah. Not really providing any, like, substantial criticism beyond that. Yeah. And then, like, calling all JRPG fans pedophiles. Man. Okay, uh... Come on. Come on. Can I get through? Okay, yeah, this... We have spent too long on this already. What was gonna say? What? What was Bernie gonna say about that? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. You know what sucks is I kind of knew he was going to make a video on Xenoblade Chronicle 3 even though we knew he wasn't going to like it. Yeah. There we go. And, and don't get me wrong, I have no problem with him disliking the game. Like, that's not my issue. That's not the issue I take with the video itself. The issue I take with the video is he has explicitly stated he does not like RPG. There we go. Alright. Let's just get on the ship and... There we go. I also just don't like going into video games with ill intent, I guess, or... What is it? I don't know, like... At the end of the day, he's just seeking attention. It's, yeah. like, for the best, just not to give it to him. Right, and that's why I'm just going to stop watching these videos, because... Yeah. Because, because he's black. You... Yeah. That's, that's totally why I don't watch his videos. Heck, yeah. I'm going to comment on his most latest video and say, Fuck Dunk you, Dunkley. I do not watch your videos because you are it's black. Weird. Exactly. That's... Uh... That's another YouTuber who went to shit. I mean, he didn't actually say that, remember? That was like a bit. I know. I know it was like a joke, but still. John Tron did go to shit. Yeah. I don't know. I just like barely even pay attention to that sect of YouTube anymore. Yeah. I barely even pay attention to the gamers and. So, I'm gonna say this to someone who beat Xenoblade Chronicles 3 in five days. I have not said a single thing about the game on my Twitter besides the fact it's my game of the year so far. Yeah. And I intend to keep it that way for a while. I kind of want Jody to play the game, so until she plays the games, I'm probably gonna keep quiet about it. Yeah, them. 20 years from now. Yeah. I think All I have I to want, do this for that. What I really want from Jody is her reaction to my favorite cutscene in the whole series. I ever thought about how utterly useless this move is? Like, when do you ever use it except when the game explicitly tells you to? Oh. What I am looking forward to this. is whenever you do heavily get around to the second game, 
and then whenever you're in the like the final chapter, I'm gonna like demand that you like oh, oh, let oh, me oh, watch oh, you play oh, the oh, final oh, chapter oh, oh, because. Oh. Well, I guess we're doing this now. Alright, so, secret strategy for this fight? Wow! Who knew? Holy crap. I wonder if that's how they intended it to be done. Yeah, um... <laughs> Beak Barge is in Tui. I think it's used for, like, a couple things as well, but, yeah, not super handy. But also, I don't say anything about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 besides the fact I like it, because... You know, there are people who are following me who actually are playing the game who don't want spoilers on it. Yeah. Who are taking their time with it, and I respect that. Yeah, not many people get to just, like, use up all their vacation days on one video game. I didn't even use vacation days on it, I just, uh... Yeah, I know. I would I just mean, play like... it after work. Yeah, I just mean, like, you know, people have, like, other obligations. Right. But I'm a single person who, you know, lives alone. Yeah. So, you know, what else am I going to do when I'm not trying to get dinner and stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, that's true. I like how they don't even attempt to, like, theme that to the level. They just, like, throw it just yeah. somewhere. You just throw it, like, near the... Uh, entrance to Click Clock Woods. Yeah. I'm not sure why I didn't get these before. Oh, well, I guess because I was rushing to. Didn't feel get like. The it. Heck, I have barely said anything about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on Twitter. And that game's been out for five years. Man. And heck, I have barely said anything about Xenoblade Chronicles on Twitter. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, I don't... I'm not necessarily gonna say, like, keep absolutely positively quiet about the game, but, like, don't just post major story spoilers for the fuck of it. Right, no. But also, I want to see your reaction to my favorite cutscene in the game, and I'm gonna demand whenever you're in the series, and I'm gonna demand when you get to that part, ever, if you eventually ever do get to that part, that you let me watch you during that part. <laughs> this is why we need feminism. True. To keep our women from transing their gender or whatever. I already did that. Well, no, a turf would say you did it the other way around. I gendered my trans thing? Sure. <laughs> I like how that's still just a PNG. Remember that time we transcend our genders? Man. Uh, did I go in the other pipe? I don't think I did. Meb. 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 Ugh, squeeze me. T and T's. Did you know there's an eight token? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> TNT just explodes for no reason. Right, I think that's all those in here. Oh, there's like an invisible invincibility feather, I guess. Might as well. I would say the invincibility cheetah code is probably important because I don't care. I don't, don't I don't like using the cheat codes because I don't really need them. I just feel like it kind of goes towards 100%, so that's why I get them. I mean, again, I I don't care. Also, like, they, I don't, don't... they don't track those, so I don't see much of a reason to get them, personally. Fair. Oh, wow, you're in the, you're in the missile room. Yeah. Oh, boy. I hate boats. Man. 
Hey, it's it's Nate. Yo, how's it going, Nate? Meow. Oh, right, other door. Wait, Nate, you ever gonna return to that Doom stream? <laughs> yeah, that Doom stream, the VODs of which aren't even archived anymore, I don't think. Oh, fall. I'm debating doing one. I'm debating doing another stream. Wait, did you do that on 420? I thought that was just... Might have I been on 420, actually. Thing. I just joined one day. Then I think I ended up like getting called into work or something, because Walgreens was a bitch-ass motherfucker. Yeah. I don't Walgreens know how working, like, fucking... 10 a.m.? What's up? For 10 p.m.? They called me in late sometimes, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, I had that one RuneScape stream I remember catching a while back. Also, if anyone wants to know how I figured this one out, uh, it's because I'm psychic. Well, the code doesn't change ever. No, it's because I'm psychic, actually. True. Nothing in the game tells you how to do this, just so you know. Absolutely nothing. I just remember, like... Not a single thing. I just remember, like, when it came to Walgreens and stuff like that, you know... I mentioned I had, like, a really abusive manager, right? It wasn't, like, yeah. a store manager, but it was, like, one of the managers there. Like, pretty much any time, like... Like, you know, I would, I would, I would cover a bunch of shifts, but, you know... The second I even, like, you know... Whoa, 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 whoa. The second I requested even moments of rest, he would just, like, start telling me how useless I was, how, you know... Yeah. I, I love DSP. He is such an interesting dude. We were talking about him a few minutes ago. Yeah. Um, Nate, did you see, like... Did you see that one tweet he made about, like... I just feel like this game is like, too immature in its humor. Too immature compared to the first game. It feels like they're trying to appeal to, like, a younger generation. And then, like, you look up what game he's talking about and it's fucking Destroy All Humans 2. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like sitting here thinking like, you know, Destroy All Humans is kind of an, isn't really an immature, it's a, it was kind of an immature game to begin with. Yeah. I have the remake of the first one on both like Steam and PS4. I've been meaning to give it a shot. I maybe, have it on Switch. Yeah, maybe I'll stream that at some point. I have it on Switch and I played it for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, props to him, he got married, and seems to be happy in his marriage. Or at least relatively happy. Who knows what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah. Yeah, there's always that, of course. But, you know. You know, I guess it just seems- maybe- maybe it's an asexual relationship? I don't know. Eh, I don't know. No, think about some stuff he said, he's gotta be- cause he- he would masturbate on stream sometimes. <laughs> God, he really did that. He That's would, so yeah. funny. No, 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 not that. The thing Nate said. God. You know, maybe he is asexual. He just became like a hell of a wife guy, I guess. But I mean, I'm not like that asexual or like. I, I don't though. think he's asexual, I just think he's, like, overcompensating, because he doesn't want, like, his wife to think he's weird or something. Fair. You know, the way I am, though, because I think about it, like, you know, I might think maybe, like, like, Lum's design, for example, you know, like, how... I mean, that, I just don't... that doesn't really, like, draw attention to it in, like, a sexual light as a thing. Right, yeah. Like, there's Some a difference... Might... There's, a, there's a difference between someone being, like, just naturalistically, like, wearing revealing clothes for their own purposes, because they want to, and someone, like, implicitly trying to be sexy. 
I don't think Lum is trying to be. I think she's just... Yeah, that's just, like, what she wears. It's just her normal clothes. But, like, you know, what is it like? Like, there was a class I took a few years back in college where, like... Where, like, they hired, like, a naked model and stuff like that, pretty much. And, and, then, and then everyone's parents complained and the school got shut down. It was in college. It was a night class. Oh, right. You had right. To, like, sign off on it. If you weren't... So, like, we were all 18 in that class. And if you weren't 18, yeah. you would have, you'd have, like, you couldn't do the class. It's that simple. Um, but, like... But, like, I remember, like, you know, there was both naked men and women, like, models. And... Um, and I just remember feeling nothing whatsoever. Man. And that's just kind of how I am with that kind of stuff. I feel nothing towards, like, you know, any of that stuff. It's like, I see a naked person, I'm like, oh, they're naked. Yeah. And that's more or less how it is with me, like... I don't know. Like, I do feel physical attraction, I just don't like... Yeah. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw the new wing. Like, I feel physical attraction, I just don't like... You know. There's never, like, that carnal impulse to... Yeah. ...conjoin apparatuses. As it I don't were. know. I think I feel romantic attraction... I think mostly what I feel is platonic love, though, for people. Man. Yeah, that's the, um, the long blue one, right? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. He posted it on the Facebook and the Twitter. I remember at one point, like, I mentioned to Nate, like, um... Oh, you were to work, hell yeah. Oh yeah, you work at, like, a... Like, a barcade, right? Yeah, so they probably have, like, a more lax dress code. I wear whatever the hell I want to work. I mean, you also work from home, so... True. <laughs> Some yeah. days but I yeah, I imagine, like, a barcade probably has a more lax dress code than, like, Walmart or, like, Cheddar's where you used to work. Oh. When I go, my office at work is pretty. Hey. It's pretty relaxed on drug code. Man. Though if I ever go back, no, I don't. No, I'm hoping to be out before they pull everyone back into the office. Like, find like another job or be self-employed by then. Yeah. Yeah, like. At Walmart, like, what they're supposed to do, um, the store doesn't, like, totally enforce this, um, but what they're supposed to do is, like, everyone's supposed to, like, wear a, like, a, like, a light blue shirt and, like, the Walmart vest, um, and, like, I think actually the dress code is just you have to wear, like, a non-printed, non-graphic, like, monocolor shirt of any kind and then the blue vest, um, our store doesn't really enforce it that much. We have to wear the vest, but we can... Like, people have worn graphic shirts to work, like, all the time, and they've never gotten in trouble for it. I accidentally wore a Sonic shirt to work for, like, the whole day once, and nobody said anything. And I didn't get written up, didn't get, you know... Oh man, I had a crazy I don't work here lady story because I wore a Sonic t-shirt in Sonic in Walmart. Oh yeah, you you told me about this, but uh, go ahead and like. So. God damn it, Nate. So one day. I wonder what happens if. So like one day I went to Walmart, you know. No, I look okay. like we've been walking distance to Walmart. So sometimes I walk over there just because I'm bored. When it's not like a billion degrees outside, and this lady, this lady walks up to me and she's all like. And she's like, hey, could you help me get this game out of the case? And I'm all like, oh, sorry, I don't work here. I'm like, you can go to the... She's like, but you're wearing a blue t-shirt. I'm like, yeah, I am. But it has Sonic the Hedgehog on the front, which I think is against the company's dress code. So you work here? No. Can I speak to your manager? I'm all like, no. Yeah, yeah, go to Walgreens. Go to, go to Walgreens because they're there. 
Which wa- but it's just Walmart, but you work at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, I've never had someone, like, do something like that at my store. Though I have had people, like, stop me off the clock and then complain to management when I didn't, like, clock back in to help them. Oh, when I man. When I, I remember when I worked at Walgreens, um, that was, like, one of my biggest pet peeves. If I was, like, walking out of the store, like... Why someone, you so someone would, like... Someone once came up to me, like, right as I entered the store, and I'm like, dude, I'm... It's, it's like an hour before my shift starts. Go away. I didn't, like, I literally know. say that to him, of course, but, yeah. What I would st what I started doing eventually is I would just, like, wear a hoodie into work. Like, to cover my uniform. Yeah, I, I probably should do that, but I don't have a, like, my own locker at work. That's fair. Oh, oh. I mean, the good thing about Walgreens is there's only ever, like, two of us on, so I just, like, hang the hoodie up and, like, you know, then go get on the floor. Yeah. They don't, like, want us, like, having our own stuff, like, on the floor, even if it's, like, behind something. I don't know why. They're, they're weird. I need to care at my place. Where I work. Like, I always have my phone charging behind the counter. Like, like sometimes I sometimes I would like buy a game, and like I wouldn't have anywhere to put it, so I just put it like, like stick it on the printer, like hidden, like wrapped in a bag, tied up, all that. And my department manager like complained to me about that, and I'd be like, what, "Where else am I supposed to put this? I, I bought this, like while I'm in here, while while I was on my lunch break." Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so like what I used to do... I remember like one of my favorite stories of getting screamed at was when I worked at Fry's. This guy wanted, wanted me to install a radio in his car. I'm like, oh, hey, there's a radio department over there. He's like, oh, but I want you to do it. I'm just like, I don't know how to. I just, I'm not trained in that. He's all like... It's like, go to that department over there and I'll install the radio in your car for you, no problem. And... He's like, I don't care, I want you to do it. You seem you seem like a good guy. Yeah. And People like, like that are weird. Like uh finish the story. So like, you know so like then my manager calls me to the office, she's like, Hey, did you tell this guy that you didn't know how to install car stereos? I'm like, Yeah, what else was I supposed to tell him? That's very unprofessional of you. I quit that job to like, you know. Man, I was so glad when I quit that job because that manager was a word I'm not going to say on stream. Yeah. What a piece of work. I remember, like, the day I quit. Like, man. Like, I had requested, I remember because I had requested the launch of the Nintendo Switch off. You know, because I had the time to do it and all that stuff. So, hey, I had the vacation time and I said, hey, I'm... And I requested it, like, three months in advance. And she was all like, Oh, but I need you here in case we gotta sell Nintendo Switches. And I'm all like, I don't care, I requested this day off three months in advance. Yeah, sit down restaurants are like... I don't know, like... It's a lot harder to, like justify going to one of those now when like you know the big sickies out like I don't know COVID's like mostly died down like to a, a degree like it's not as dangerous but like I still want to be safe I also just don't like going out in public yeah I mean like I kind of have to because of work and like I have to, like, take my mask off to, like, eat. So, you know, I'm not gonna just sit on my lunch break and not eat anything, because then I'll be, like... That'll be, like, fucking nine hours. Yeah. More than that, even. That I'll just have not eaten. You know, one thing I hate about Walgreens as well is they often expected me not to take my lunch or personal breaks. Yeah. And then I'd be, like... 
Damn. Yeah, like, I get Whataburger, like, on my lunch breaks usually just because I... Every time I take something in for lunch, someone steals it. Right. So, like, I'm just like, nah, nah, I'm not dealing with that anymore. It was the same way with me at Walgreens as well. It was, and I know who was stealing it, too. Man. Who else could have been but the awful manager? Yeah. I know, because he would brag about it, and I would report him to, like, the store manager and stuff. She'd be like, oh, he's just teasing you. He's just having fun. And I'd be like, stealing my lunch isn't fun. Yeah. I paid money for that. So I would just go to the Domino's across the street from where I work and order wings and then like scarf them down in front of him and he'd be like, you're not going to share those with me? And I'd be like, no. Yeah. I'd have to stop by your work sometime when I'm in Waco, if I haven't ever in Waco for some reason. I'm gonna stop by. If I'm ever in Waco, yeah, I'm gonna do that as well, because that sounds kind of cool, to be honest. Yeah. I drive through there sometimes when going to visit my parents. Maybe I'll just. I. Uh, yeah. What about the living Nate meetup of Legend? Unfortunately, you know even... unfortunately, neither of you can perceive each other. What I'm looking forward to is to the living dopey meet meetup of legend. Oh, that that PS triple. The slick black best games. I was about to say like the PS triple goes by many different names, but that's not like actually a chat quote. I don't think that's like a a line from like a like a mashup someone did. A, like black and yellow, and the Chad clips. To be fair, I've heard No Man's Sky has gotten a lot better since 2016. Hell yeah. Yeah, apparently, like, No Man's Sky has actually become a pretty solid game. I want to try it out at some point. But I also yeah. want to kind of do it in up. Remember how it was, like, a big, like... A big get for the PS5, because everyone was super excited for it. PS4. PS4, I mean, yeah. And then it came out, and nobody really liked it. And by the time it became something that people liked, uh, it was already on everything else. Yeah. Heck, isn't it on Switch now? Yeah, it's on Switch now, which is wild. Isn't the Switch port actually good? I don't know. It's not a cloud port, so it's got to be better than that. Gotta be better than Kingdom Hearts on Switch. Yeah. Right, I think I, I, this is the only I thing I have left to do. Is it bad that I kind of shit on the Dolphin? Let's switch well, part of Kingdom Hearts a lot. Because uh, it's a penis port made by penis men who like, want every video game to be penis. Okay, maybe three couldn't run natively, but you cannot convince me that one and two couldn't. Yeah. I remember, like, that was one of those things I always felt really smug about was no with No Man's Sky. Um, uh, like I, like I saw all that was happening and just like immediately knew, like, yeah, that that's gonna be real busted when it comes out, isn't it? That and was kind of around the time I. And was it wasn't like busted, apparently. Like it wasn't like glitchy, but yeah, people didn't really like it. I would say it was probably boring. So, like, my roommate at the time got it, and he was just all like, hey, you can play it. He's like, you want to give it a shot? I'm going to probably sell this in a few days. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, your roommate played a game that wasn't Street Fighter? This was kind of before the whole Street Fighter addiction happened. Yeah. He was pretty cool before the Street Fighter addiction. Then he became evil. Hell, he, uh... He was really cool before the Street Fighter addiction. That's why I kind of became friends with him at first. 
Yeah. Hey, remember like my uh, remember like my Jack Two story about how like I knocked myself out while playing it. Yeah. He was the one who kind of who kind of uh like took care of me like after that incident. Oh, yeah. Uh, was so, that like, everything? So like I trusted him. I I really trusted him at the time. So you know. Like, yeah, yeah. We should play Guilty Gear so you can like beat up on my Butterfingers ass for a jet. Hell yeah. Oh, I forgot oh. to read the totals. I also play Guilty yeah. Gear now. Yeah. Should I go for a little longer to, like, do the Click Clock Wood? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, maybe not, like, finish it, just because I don't want to go too much over three hours, but I still have some energy left. Fair. Wait, why am I going up here? Why not? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's part of the PlayStation Plus thing. Right. I have not yet. Um, after the stream, I'm probably going to have to uh, grab those after I finish this up. Grab. Then we're going to do the animes? Yeah. Do you want to do rewatch that one episode, or...? Uh, yeah, I probably should. Okay. Then we can do a little bit of Slayers. Yeah. Maybe we can finish the season tonight. PS1 and Guilty Gear. Hell yeah. God, I, winning I think, combo. I want to say, Ow. Nate, I think Strive might be my favorite fighting game of all time. Yeah. If you want to play sometime, let me know. Well, he has it on PC, but... They're supposed to be, like, trying to get crossplay going. Yeah. I don't think it's in right now, but they're trying to get it in. But I'm also probably going to buy the PC version at some point, anyway. Yeah. I hope they make a Bridget plush at some point. Yeah. I hope they make a Bridget plush and they, like, make the, like, Bridget hoodie like they did for Maze hoodie. We can like... God, I love the May plush so much. Yeah. I still need to get a May plush. Maybe I'll like... get you one for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that and the Ramlethal plush, because I really like Ramlethal too. She's cool. She likes burger. And I like burger. I love burgers. You know, we're, speaking we're of... We're kindred spirits. Oh, it's too late now. I should probably order some dinner as well. Oh, I could totally go to Furnace Fun right now, wow. I love Furnace Fun. In this Furnace what? Fun is not accepted jokes. <laughs> yeah. That fucking anime roleplay account I made that was just Ramlethal, and it just said, want burger, and then I never used it again. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's, like, found that and, like, tried to add it or something. I do want a burger, though. Should I order chicken wings tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna order some chicken uh, wings, I think. Let, let me, like, find that account, actually. Like, Could you follow me on that randomly and just be like, wow. Any roleplay? Do you even have an account on that? Oh, no. Never mind. I thought it was a Twitter account. No. Um... Uh, okay, I'm one. not logged in, because... Oh, but it seems like it saved my data. No? Huh. Let me see. Probably want the pizza. Let me see if I can find it in our DMs, actually. It'll be an hour, so yeah, I can do that. Oh. So uh, I guess I just accidentally <laughs> DM'd you that. Oops. I'm gonna do... Here we go. Found it. Oh, it <laughs> they deleted it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I can't say I wasn't expecting that, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> God. Should I get, uh, how should I get to it? Should I get a... Okay. God. Okay, let's get back to the game. Did I hit the button? I think I did. You did, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cauldron's down here. Yeah, this is such a good version of Gunny's of, of Gunny's. I think I could say about any version of Gunny's layer though. Yeah. I'm trying to think, is there even a song in this game I hate? No, I think I like the whole soundtrack of this game. Yeah. It's all real good. Alright, now, let's open up the clockwood. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it is down here, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try to stream on Sunday, by the way. Okay. Sunday and, uh, Thursday. I think I'm gonna try to go to two weekdays a week and see how I feel. What's your schedule Sunday, by the way? Um, I think that's a closing shift. I don't remember Dang. for certain, though. Alright. Oh well, I can't just be like, oh no, Joby's not gonna make it, so I'm not gonna stream. <laughs> it just makes me sad when you can't make it. No, that was just me, like, giggling at Nate's thing. I don't even remember what, like, the rest of that, like, copy pasta is anymore. I just, like, hear that and instinctively giggle. I fucking hate Stuart Little. Now let me tell you. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, this must be some sort of joke. I love how every time I, I post that copy pasta somewhere, someone's all like, Hey, did you know that Stuart Little is not actually a mouse, but a fucking... Hey, oh, so fun please... fact! Yeah, fun fact about this one actually. This is also a remix of a like a popular folk song called like uh, "Oh You Beautiful Doll." I actually found that one out on my own because like uh, my one of my brothers is like severely disabled, so he watched a lot of like preschool television even in adulthood. Um, yeah. So, he would always watch these DVDs of a show called, like, Kids Songs, which was just basically, like, children singing, like, popular folk songs. You know, they had, like, I don't think they ever had Teddy Bear's Picnic in it, weirdly enough, but they had, like, Oh, You Beautiful Doll, like, uh, Sakura Sakura, funnily enough. Um, stuff like that. And... I remember thinking it was really weird because they didn't like sing Sakura Sakura like in English. They didn't do a cover of that. They just did it in its original Japanese. But like all the kids were still like white as fuck. So I don't think they like pronounced anything correctly. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay. You know, lives in a facility, right? What? You know, lives in like like. Like, how can you, like, actually help him with stuff? 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one that lives in the facility. Yeah. How often does DC him anyway, or not often? Um, not so much these days. He comes to visit every so often, but... Does he stay yeah, at night, or is he usually, uh... Uh, usually he stays in night, like, my dad will, like, take him home for the weekend. And then, like, when he goes back into work the next time, uh, that's when he goes back. Okay. You applied, you applied to that place, didn't you, at one point? Yeah, I did once, um, just because, like, uh... You know, I basically applied everywhere I could. Yeah. I had an interview with them that seemed to go well, but then I never got called back, so... Usually, what I've seen when I from interviews is if I've failed an interview, typically, they'll tell me, hey, we're still checking other candidates and stuff out. And I remember you saying that at one point, point. I was just like, oh shit, those are the words I really hate. Uh, for that place? No. They didn't say right. anything like that. Okay. Have you been looking for other jobs besides Walmart? Um, I really should, because I really do not like the fucking management of that store. It's just a matter of, like, getting motivated, too. Yeah, I need to get motivation to find myself another job as well, in case, like, you know. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the one time I had, like, an interview at, like, a Freddy's, and the number that they, or the time that they gave me was, like, they apparently actually scheduled it for, like, an hour before? Yeah. So I got there late, they were like, hey, you're late, and I'm like, no, I'm actually, like, about, like, five minutes early. And they were like, no, this was for 11, you're, you're here at 12, or something like that. Yeah. I was like, what? So I lost that interview because they gave me the wrong date. Hell yeah. <clears throat> yeah. My throat's getting a bit scratchy. I'm gonna take a sippy. Oh, no. I once had an interview at like a, uh, at like a Starbucks, and this yeah, interview- Yeah, yeah, just down a fucking whole cup of Mr. Pib in one gulp. I once like had an interview at a Starbucks where like, the manager was a complete bitch, and like when she interviewed me, she was all like, she was all like, what do you like about Starbucks? I'm like, eh, it could be a good <laughs> Yeah, one. I've never- Sorry, I'm responding to the maze thing. I've never had that specifically happen to me, but I know people that's happened to. Like, one of my coworkers mentioned they had, like, an interview at, like, a... I think it was, like, a Sonic that was the same way. Yeah. Like, I talk about how much I, like, hate the management at my store, but, like, my coworkers are mostly chill. There's, like... There's, like, one chick I fucking hate because she's a giant cop, but... Yeah. You know, aside from her, like, everyone I work with is fairly chill. There's this, like... I don't want to say their names because that would be weird, but, like... There's this one guy who, like, I always, like, talk about, like, video games and stuff with. Like, when there's downtime. And, like, I, I showed him, like, Michael Dragon's fucking Banjo-Kazooie with lyrics cover. Spyro the Mountain Goat. Spyro yeah. the Mountain Goat. <laughs> Spyro the Mountain Goat. Spyro Mountain. <laughs> like, I showed him, like, the whole thing, and, like, he progressively just started losing it as he realized that's the whole thing. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that. I just, like... And then I was like... Yeah, yeah so he has, like, a bunch of covers that are, like, just like that. Just the name of the level repeated over and over again with like a go in between certain lines when he needed to fit the melody. My favorite one was like, Grante go, Industries, yeah, Grante go, Industries, Grante go, Industries, yeah, oh my god, that's hurting my throat. 
God. Grunty Industries, go! Funniest man alive. I miss him. I wish he would do another cover. Hell I wish yeah. he would come back for one final <clears throat> cover. I think that's all we can do with a bee for now. E. I remember when I was a kid, I was afraid of the bee because I was already with Yeah, I <laughs> I forget if they were, like, new when I found them, but they were, like, new-ish. Um, I found them. I found them because, like, there was, like, a thread on the Banjo forum I went to at the time about them because people were making fun of them. Did I ever tell you how I found them? No. I just, like, I just looked up Spyro Mountain and I found one that said Spyro, Mount Spyro Mountain with, uh, Spyro Mountain with lyrics, and I was all like, oh, this could be neat. And Spyro I just started... Spyro Mountain goes... <laughs> God. <laughs> Imagine my horror when that was what I heard. Your horror? I think you mean your abject, yeah, your abject majesty. You're right. My bramble fields make you yes, and where's the one? <laughs> I wish I could do dark minded stuff. Uh, impression of Grunty. Wait. Yeah, let's just let's just keep doing like the 2009 let's play thing of I have nothing to say, so I'm just gonna like hum the lyrics. That was my banjo. That was like most of my banjo because doing nuts and bolts LP before I cancel it. Hell yeah! Fun fact: you can actually break that rock in. Spring. E. Like by carefully aiming egg drops. What happens if you go up there in spring now? That's what I want to know. Um, there's just nothing there. Oh, so it's not even programmed then? Yeah. It's not intended for you to be able to do that. It's just like they didn't like bother to code it out. Okay. Oh. Turn it up in summer, I think. Yeah, you can open it in summer, and there's still nothing in there because you're not able to like get up there. But Jody, you don't need yeah. more Ethan tokens. So I wanted to get that. There. That's valid. Yeah, I don't know if I've said this before, but like spring is like my favorite season. It's like. It's like just past winter to the point that it's not like super cold, and like it rains a lot more. I feel like I I like the rain. I know a lot of a lot of people don't, but I don't know. There's just something like very pleasing about it. I like the to rain me. too, though. Yeah. Like I've I've always talked about whenever it's raining at night, I'm like trying to fall asleep. I'm like, oh thank God it's raining. I'm gonna fall asleep now. Yeah. Just like super cozy. Yeah. Like just, I, like just going outside, like on the porch, and like just looking at the rain as it falls. Yeah, but like, have you ever like experienced like a real autumn before? Autumn, um, I might have like back when I was living in Missouri. But like, do you have much memory of it? Oh God. Um, I guess is what I'm asking. Not particularly, no. I mean, even yeah. still, this was Missouri, so it wasn't, like, a f true, true autumn, but it was truer autumn than we had in, like... Than we had in fucking Texas. God, like, that's just, like, if you ever see, like, true autumn, like, coziest season ever. Because, like, in Texas, I'd autumn imagine, is yeah. basically just spring 2.0. Yeah. With less, with less rain. Yeah. Which I don't mind it. I it's don't like, mind autumn. It's like poor man's spring. Exactly. That's like, what it is. My hierarchy is like spring at the top, uh, autumn just below that, then winter, then summer. I hate summer. I hate summer too, yeah. So I, I would say I would swap autumn and spring around. But like I want to see how your opinion on autumn changes like never like you move north. Like, that's what I'm interested in. Maybe. 
Maybe it will. I don't know, I just really like... Like, the aesthetic of spring. Fair enough. I like spring just because it's not too hot, but not too cold, and autumn's the same way. Yeah. At least we can all agree that summer fucking sucks. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Well, I'm not gonna tell anyone, but if anyone any, says their any, favorite season is... It's spring, like, is... My, uh, my feelings regarding summer are I feel like anyone who thinks it's, like, their favorite season is either, like, really young, or just, like... Yeah. Is stupid and insane and wrong. Uh, I'm I'm joking, obviously, but I really don't like summer. Oh no! But no, I don't. But like, yeah, I feel like more people like summer when they're young, just because like, no you know, that's when you get out of school. Yeah. And but like, you like... don't. But like, you don't have that when you're an adult and you're yeah. like working, because. Unless you're, like, a teacher, like, your work is going to continue the same as normal, like, after you, after the summer starts. Yeah. But, like, even as a teacher, I think, like, because I have a friend who, like, works as a teacher. Um, yeah. And they, like, they, like, even do streams here. And I, I don't remember what exactly they say they do in the summer, but they still have work in the summer. It's just a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's, like, administrative work. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm gonna see something. Is he still streaming? Probably not. Nah, okay. He stopped. He was streaming oh, well. earlier. Oh no. The stream's uh, My what? land's kind of frozen. On Discord? Yeah. Okay, uh, let me see what's going on there. Oh, it's been frozen for a while, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh... Let's fix it. that. Oh, it's still... It's still, still frozen. Dang. Okay. Um, maybe if I, like, turn down the frame rate or resolution... Nope. Nope. Okay. Damn. Well, that's um, on, we're almost done anyway, so don't worry about it. I guess I can, like, share my, like, the normal-ass screen. You won't get, like, that's the fine. audio, but oh well. That's fine. Alright, does but it look fine now? Yeah. Okay. Yo, DoorDash is on the way. I have DoorDash Hell on the way yeah. as well. I ordered some wings. And I've never actually, like, yeah. I never actually right. used DoorDash or like any of those like food delivery apps. I'm like very particular with mine. Like I, you know, because I used to have issues where like I, I tell them just to like leave it at my door, and but I used to have like drivers who would be all like, um, who'd be all like, if you don't come grab it from me, I'm gonna take it and eat it myself, even though I have the instruction. And so I just started, and so I finally just said, if you don't leave it at my door, I'm recording you with DoorDash. I mean, why would you not? Yeah. Like, like the beginning of the pandemic, especially, they would do that. They were, like, there were DoorDash drivers who would just use that if they saw a meal they liked. They would, uh, they would like use that as an excuse not to get people to, go to, the, to like try to get people not to like to like try to get people to enter the door, so they could like steal meals. And they do that on purpose. There are DoorDash drivers who do that just as a means to like, you know. Yeah. Because they bitches. Yeah. But, like, I remember one experience especially. Like, there was a DoorDash driver. I had ordered some, uh, some stuff. I don't remember what I ordered especially. It was a really expensive meal. Mind you. I, I was... My, my, my parents were... It was, like, one of my birthdays one year. My parents ordered me some food from DoorDash. And, um... The driver stole the meal. And I never got it. Um, and so I reported him. The DoorDash. He comes rushing back to my door because he still had the meal, he hadn't eaten it yet. And he was all like, because I reported him, and DoorDash was all, and he was all like, thanks a lot, dude, you got me fired. Wow. It's almost like that was the goal. I'm like, good. It's almost good. like when you intentionally do your job wrong, you get fired. Yeah. Good, you know. I, 
I had this one coworker recently. He was like the most recent one to have gotten like let go or like quit. Um, yeah. He was a nice guy. He was the stupidest fucking person I've ever met. Um, was he the one who like refused to like? Yeah, like, um, management like got onto him because he was like stealing company time because he would like just sit in the, like the bathroom for like an hour at a time. Yeah. And like management finally said something to him, and he got pissed and decided, you know what? I'm just gonna clock in and then I'm gonna not do any work. And I'm like, are you stupid? They're gonna fire you for that. Yeah. Oh man, I remember like near the end of my time at Fry's, that's all I would do is I would just clock in and then like you know go to the bathroom and stuff like that and just sit in. So I'm there. Yeah. Like, just hang out in there for. I mean, months. I'm not gonna say like. You absolutely have to obey your, like, player's orders or whatever. Because, like, I've definitely, like, had my share of slacking off. Like, yeah. one time, um... Uh... Like, one time when I was, um... Like, they pulled me to a different department for, like, my whole shift. And I just got... I just got so annoyed by that. Because we still had, like... There was only one other person in electronics. And yeah. they wouldn't listen when I told them that. So, what I would, <clears throat> excuse me, what I did was, like, they had me, like, uh, zoning near chemicals, which zoning is, like, uh, it's what, Wa <clears throat> God, uh, it's what Walmart calls, like, uh, T, what's it called? Total uh, store T company? Yeah, TSC, like, touching shit randomly. Or TSR. Randomly. Fucking, yeah. yeah. Man, um, but yeah, they, they like had me zoning in like chemicals, which is like three aisles, so I was done with it like right away. So I was like, you know what, I want I bet if they if, if I go into the bathroom and just don't say anything, they won't even see it. So I did. I just sat there for like two hours. Not two hours, but like an hour and a half. And they just didn't say anything. I didn't get a write up. Fry's is the only job I've ever gotten a write-up at, and I remember it was kind of part of the reason I quit as well, was the write-up was stupid. Was, um, the manager of the store asked me, hey, could you, uh, could you, could you face this aisle? Could you, could you, could you recover this aisle for me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. She comes back five minutes later, because, you know, it was, it was in really poor shape, so I'm, like, sitting there, like, getting everything organized before I put it back on the shelf, and she's all like, why is this not taken care of? I'm writing you up. I got written up once, um, because, like, like, one time I left, like, I left before a coworker one night when we were both closing. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. Like, I left before a coworker one night when we were both closing, and uh, she was like, oh, wait, I, I still have something to do before I close. And I was like, okay, so I'll, I left the keys with her, and I was like, yeah, just, uh, just, like, uh, lock, like, lock those up in the... Uh, administration office when you're done. Okay. And I come in the next morning, my department manager tells me, like, hey, uh, I'm gonna have to write you up. And I was like, what the heck for? And she's like, oh, well, there's a... There was a, like, electronics cage, like a game case open at the end of your shift. And I was like, oh my fucking god. They stole it, don't they? No, she just, like, I guess forgot to, like, relock the thing after she was done. Oh. Because there was nothing stolen. It was just, like, there was a case that was left unopened. Or left yeah. unlocked. But, no, that write-up, because it was, it was a really bullshit write-up. And, like, I remember, like, even my department head was, like, arguing with, like, the uh, store manager over at Red Fries. Yeah. And she was all, like... Oh, well, I just wasn't pleased with the amount of time it was taking. And he was like, it was only... He the, he was like, they were only there for, like, two seconds before you threatened to write them up. Yeah. You know, that's a really difficult aisle to recover. She's like, I don't care. Um, but... but yeah, I, I have no fucking respect for the management of my job. They all... There's a few of them that I'm okay with, um, Manager, but, like, my, my... the majority of them, like, they don't communicate with each other, they, 
they like don't listen to the customers, they don't listen to employees. Like, the one lady that I hate, like that, like she's constantly like talks shit to the customers, like to their face, and yeah. has never gotten written up for it. Yeah. Because she's like my department manager's favorite. I wonder if they're, like, friends in real life, and that's why. Uh, maybe, but I think there's a decent age gap between them. Because one's, like, at one's like at least 40, and I'm pretty sure the other is, like, no more than, like, 30. You know, I've had friends who were... who were much older than me. Maybe. I don't so, know. So, one of my friends in college was 10 years older than me. Yeah. So, like... I mean, I'm not like... saying it's impossible, just I don't... Like, I don't assume that's the case yeah no so like because like yeah one of my friends in college was he was uh he was uh he was 30 when i was he was 12 years older than me actually because he was 30 when i was 18. man he's 40 now and him and i would just play Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes that's how i kind of how i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh was through him yeah he was a cool guy Yeah, I don't know. Like, I really should be looking for another job. I'm just too lazy. Yeah, I get it. And, yeah. I probably should, too, because as much as, you know, my job pays me well, it does stress me out considerably. Yeah. And I don't know how long until I have a day where I'm just going to have a mentally break. I could probably go into self-employment, okay. like I said. I could probably start my own business or do something like that. I, you know, I should probably just start doing that, like, in my free time is, like, you know, start doing what I want to do for self-employment. See if it picks up, and if it does, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, boy, I still have my job. Yeah. But, like, you know, hey, what if I do successfully get my own business running, you know, and people are, like, you know, paying me money, you know. Your own ding dang bean shop. Then I can move to wherever the hell I want and. Yeah. I can work whenever the hell I want and I can charge people whatever I want. Yeah. What I've thought about doing since I'm since I've done it like for a few friends a few times is like teaching is like building computers for people just like you know on my own terms and like you know my only concern yeah. with that though is you know building and then someone being all like oh I'm not gonna pay you because you know so I think what I'm gonna either do is require full payment up front or you know yeah I mean we all want to like be our own boss. Like, yeah. I guess just a tricky thing is, like, it's hard. Like, yeah. I've said before, like, maybe not on this stream because, I mean, I just started, but, like, what I ultimately want to do, like, as a profession is I want to, like, be, like, an artist. Not, like, specifically, like, someone who draws things, but just, like, a general, like, Comfort. person who, like, person who does, like, artistic media. Yeah. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, one thing I was really good at in college, and I probably should have gotten into it, was graphic design. Man. Not like, you know, making art assets itself, but like putting together the assets. I was great at that. Yeah. But I'm now pretty I'm sure I haven't done the subos. There's yeah, a wormy. There's a wormy boy. He's a fran. Yeah. We're going to feed him to a bird. But it's not going to be for another few seasons, so he's going to be old. No, for, for the next season. It's not going to be for another few months, I mean. Yeah. Thinking about how we convinced someone yesterday that the Queen of England died a few months ago. Yeah, on complete accident. It was a complete accident. You know, it was just... How can someone be that stupid? I'm sorry. I don't like to say stupid regarding that because like that kind of has that kind of has like a negative connotation, 
but a gold. lot of people's mind. Why can someone be so gold? Wait, he didn't? I thought Joe Biden died four years ago. Okay, you didn't use a super special lift strategy there for the full time. Yeah. I didn't have enough, like, invincibility feathers to do it, but oh well. That's valid. Are you going to finish up summer and then call it a night? Honestly, I still have a little more energy to go. I might just, like, go to the end of Foot Clock Wood. And then next, then tomorrow's stream will just be, like, a two-minute stream. Man. Then we can watch the next season of The Slayers. Yeah. I have extra time, though, so that's good. Yeah. I might, like, find a, like, a little, like, post-show thing to do on tomorrow's stream. That's fair. First crackers? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like doing when that stream ends. We could also just do like. Oh, you know what we? You know what we could do is I could like boot up like Banjo Pilot or something. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever played that one or? Yeah, I had it as a kid. It sucks. I, I've heard called. I, that's the only Banjo game I've never played. You know who didn't have Banjo Pilot? Yeah. No, I, I yeah, I mean, duh, I didn't. I didn't care for it, but. Um, I don't remember Banjo 189 having it. Whenever well, he, he did his like, I mean, he claimed he had like two copies of every game, including the Xbox Live Arcade versions. How would he do that with by buying like by like going on? I guess making a second account. Maybe owning two Xboxes. It's almost like he was talking out of his ass. He did have like a merchandise video, right? I, I think he did. I don't know, well, I, I didn't don't... I didn't watch the thing because I I always just thought he was a dork. That's fair. I mean here's the thing, here's the way I see it. I don't care at the end of the day who's the biggest fan of what. Like we like everyone that I was in the friend group that had him in like basically just kept him around because they thought he was funny. I wonder whatever became of him. Uh he pretended to commit suicide in the most transparently obvious oh, way possible. <laughs> I remember that part because, like, I saw his ex. Because I was friends with him on Xbox Live for a while, and one thing he, one thing he, he, did, he pretend, he pretended to commit suicide because he got banned on Rareware Archives. He was so sad. And he Funniest his, fucking man in the world. Then he deleted his account. And he I completely remember... like he didn't even like keep his story consistent, so people like. He posted a thread about it on, like, Spiral Mountain, the other, like, well, one of the other big banjo forums. And, like, yeah. everyone fucking called it. They were like, yeah, uh, he, he did, like, a, uh, he took a gunshot to the, to the stomach and died immediately. And then everyone was like, uh, you, you know, know you know, I, getting you know. a, yeah, you know you don't, like, die from a gunshot to the stomach immediately, right? It's the head where you die immediately. Yeah, like the head, the heart, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Like the stomach, you can die from a shot to that, but you would die from bleeding out, not from the shot directly. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, it's the bees. The bees. The bees. Not the bees. They hate that Never heard about what. But no, so I was friends with Banjo X twenty nine on Xbox Live. So here's, oh, uh, here's probably the, about that. Yeah. Okay. So like, so like, literally, like the day he deleted his YouTube channel, he had like this really sad description. It was, I can't remember exactly what it was like, but it was like about how his wife and kids had left him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his wife and kids that he definitely had at, like, 17. Exactly. And how he had to go off to- and how he's about to go off to war, and all that stuff. And how he's so sad and lonely, because... And so, like, it was so- it was the banjo form stuff that drove him to, like, that depression, I guess. Yeah. That's so fucking pathetic, I'm sorry. He took things way too fucking seriously. Like, even I wouldn't take that that seriously. I have not- I have not seen get that, at least. E. And then we met sometime after that. Yeah. 
I think we met in two. I did the I did the Golden Sun LP in 2011 with Freddy. Freddy was like Freddy was like insistent on being there for most of it. Yeah. And then he asked me to delete the whole project. We didn't want to be in my videos anymore. I shouldn't have done that. I'm, I'm mad at myself for actually deleting that project. Because it was really good, and I think Freddy and I really worked off each other really well. It's sad to yeah. say he, it's sad to see he didn't feel the same way. Yeah. This is whack. Yeah, he was just all like, you know, oh, hey, there was a golden feather back there, by the way. Golden feather? Yeah, I, I don't particularly care, honestly. Like, I don't think there's much of anything I need it for until, like, the final boss coming up. What about... What about... Those oh. <laughs> Fucking... Okay, where was the golden feather? Over there? Over there, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, hey, it's like people were like just telling us, like, you know, because I was getting some pretty good momentum from that Golden Sun LP, too. And people were like, dang, you two work off each other really well. Like, he just hated hearing that for whatever reason. Man. It's all like, hey, you know, take the compliment, dude. He's all like, no, it's not good that we're doing that. Because, like, our plan was to go into the Lost Age right away, and he was all like, no, we're not doing that no more. Man. I probably... I want to stream Golden Sun at some point. That's, that's another I thing I'd like too, to stream. Actually, I actually want to stream that as well. I want to LP it again, but I think i do better at streaming it. Yeah. Also, Let's Play is kind of dead. Yeah. You know, when I did the LP back in 2000... When I attempted the other LP back in 2019, was it? You know, it just it just didn't feel right. I just realized I never went into Mumbo Skull in summer. Yeah. There's a worm. The worm. No, it's in here. Was there anything in his Skull in summer? I don't remember. Not important. I think he's just in there fanning himself. Yeah. He's all like, I'm way too hot to do magic today. Look at me, I got the sunglasses. So sunglasses cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sunglasses cool and transformation not cool. You know what's sad? We didn't get the we didn't get the washing machine once this playthrough. Wasn't there something I could do with Gobi in here as well? Do you already do it, maybe? I'm pretty sure I... I don't know, maybe I didn't just... Oh yeah, because it looks like I got everything that was here. Did you go up into Nabbit? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't think I've gone into Nabbit's place just yet, though. Let's go... Or Nabnut, I mean. I'm trying to think who Nabbit. Oh, Nabbit's the squirrel. Nabbit? Um. Yeah, there's the squirrel. I... Oh, wait, no, Nabbit is the squirrel. Uh, yeah. Naughty. Naughty. That's, that's who he is. I know who Nabbit is because there used to be a YouTuber I was friends with named Psycho Jimjo. And then he could do Psycho Nabbit. I don't know what ever happened to him. Man. I think I, I can. Have... Well. Yeah, I might have just heard of the guy because he was friends with you. But he just, like, dropped off. You know, that just kind of happens sometimes, though. Yeah. A lot of people I used to know back then just kind of, like, disappeared seemingly off the face of the earth. I got bad news for you, Dale. But Olivia is forever. That's not bad news. You're my special friend. We are... Just awkwardly cuts off. You know, there were times back then, though, as well. I just thought about like, cause you know, I was it was Brian, Freddy, you know, Daniel, and all three of them are gone now. And there were times I just thought about cutting all three of them out, just going no contact with everyone there. 
But like, Man. I don't know. I I couldn't with you. Yeah. It would kill me. Yeah, and at this point we've been friends for like fucking. You gotta keep in mind when Ryan and I stopped being like friends, ten years. Jesus. When Ryan, when Ryan and I stopped being friends, we have been friends for a decade. We've been friends for about. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Okay, Ryan say and I it. started talking in 2009, and we we stopped being friends in 2019. Yeah. I don't know. It's a it's a, it's a bad anxiety I have sometimes, and I just. Work. I mean, in this day and age, like at this point, I think anything that could have potentially like caused us to like not be friends anymore, like just kind of has no chance of happening. Like has already happened. I mean, in. I'm trying like, to think yeah, of we're, we're still, like... on... I'm trying to even think, has there ever, ever, ever been a time we've been on bad terms with each other? Not really. I can't think of any. I don't know, I just suffer from abandonment issues, and I just kind of worry sometimes it might happen, but I'm kind of afraid yeah. about it. But I think you're kind of the same way sometimes, so I get it. Something like that, yeah. I'm just worried if I say something, I'm gonna... I mean, go. I guess my problem is I'm, like, kind of... I don't want to say, like, too nice, because that sounds conceited, but... Like, I'm... I'm not good at being mean to people who I really should be. Yeah. I mean, hey... Because, like, I, I was friends with these... Like, these people from that old banjo forum that I used to go to that were just complete pieces of shit with, like, red flags everywhere... And I just, like, basically ignored them for the longest time because we had some mutual friends. And then, whoops, it turns out very recently that uh, they're pieces of shit. And they decided to just be complete and utter dicks to me and our mutual friends. And so they're not friends no more. Yeah. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are watching this just, like scrutinizing everything I'm saying, trying to look for, like, the fucking new thing to make fun of the cringe autistic girl for doing. Because there was, like, this one guy who we all also used to be friends with who, uh, he was a little bit of a dick, but, like, just a, like, general, like, internet forum dick, not, like, you know, cyber-stalking weirdo dick. Yeah. Like, this guy who was kind of rude sometimes. Um, and they would use the fact that he was sometimes a little rude as an excuse to just, like, stalk him relentlessly for, like, basically the rest of time. Yeah, that's mean. Yeah. No, but, like, they, because, like, they found his Reset Era profile, and they, like, have accounts on Era now specifically to stalk his page. Yeah. And just, like, post every single dumb un- like, weird thing he says, like, every mild eccentricity, like, to their little clique and just make fun of it. I'm like, well, if they bully man, you, I'm not bully them. I mean, I don't really care if they do that, because at the end of the day, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, that's fair. But, like, but, like I just think I... about the fact that I was, like, friends with people who did that for that long. Yeah, no. And I'm just like, yeah, I should maybe be a little more, cons like, discerning about who I associate with. I've always been careful about it. Like, there's someone, in, I'm not going to say who, but I've thought about many times cutting him out. I assume I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But I feel like I'd be like, I maybe like once certain things come to an end, I, I'll just tell them that I'm done. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. like... I mean, I have... I've had friends who... Like, some of their friends I haven't gotten along with. Like, I haven't always gotten along with people you've gotten from, like, you've been friends with. I imagine there's some people I'm friends with you wouldn't get along with. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, I guess the big thing is just, like, you know. At the same time, it's not that I don't mind. It's not that it, it doesn't piss me off that he doesn't get along with you. It pisses me off how he treats you. Yeah. Well, it's, like, not drag that into, like, a public yeah, sphere. for sure. You know, he could be watching, you don't know. Again, like, because we do still have mutual friends, and I don't want to make things awkward for them if they pop in. Right. 
Because it, it's very obvious who we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, that one day I literally just thought... And also, I don't know, it's just really tacky to talk about, like, currently going on drama between, like... Yeah. Just normal-ass people. Yeah, I know. Like, in... Like, in a stream like this. Yeah, that's true. What if you did a Grunny's Revenge stream? Ed P. Well, yeah. I might do that at some point, like, after I do... 2e in this. Let's see, what's the status of my hands right there? there's a worm right there! Eat that thing! <laughs> it's only one worm, though, Joby. So? He's a little he worm. He needs ten you, worms you, to you become... You could've eat him. He needs ten worms to become bigger and stronger. I might switch into jammies after this stream's over. Yeah. I'm waiting for my food so we can have, at least I can be in cozy mode for uh, animes for a bit. Uh... Look at that, he fell asleep. Yeah. He's a speepy baby. Yeah. So this Jiggy up here, if I'm not mistaken, you can get it in any of the seasons, right? Uh, this one, like... Yeah. The one that's, like, in here, yeah. Yeah, you can get it in any of the four seasons. I usually just get it in winter because I can fly up here. Now, is there a Jinjo in there only one of the seasons, or am I misremembering? Mm hmm. I don't think so, because I think the one in, I think the one in winter is like on Mumbo's hut. Yeah, let's see, what, what's... I don't That's like the only one we have left. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you gave Nabnut the nuts yet. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't think you did. Okay, well let's go and give them to him, I guess. Yeah, I just check him. Yeah, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You can, you can pee on me later. Why would I do that? That's gross. It's punishment. How, how dare wrong. you? How dare you even suggest such a thing? Would you pee on Ted Cruz? Maybe. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't. Oh no, that's so sad. Well, I guess we have to delay the divorce for another 60 years. Damn. Dang, Christopher's picking up my order from DoorDash. Damn. Hey, Nate, you ever gonna do more world videos with us eventually? Oh, damn it. Okay. What were you trying to do? I was trying to get to the, like, the top of the flower, like, jump to the branch above it. But I missed shot. You just gotta create your own character, Nate. That's how we do it. We just play it by ear. Most of the videos are just made up on the spot anyway. Pretty much, yeah. That's Actually, why the that's why the canon barely exists. Yeah, that's why there's barely even canon at this point. Heck, sometimes when I'm bored, I just make up a character. Yeah. But, uh... at, some, at some point, Freddy wants to. Uh, I mean, Darren wants to play Jack's uh, brother. Drax's grandfather, who sounds just like Freddy, but he's not, like, abusive, and he just is, like... Kind of I like how he just off. uses the Freddy voice for, like, everyone. Yeah. Hey, Jack, it's your uncle, it's your grandpa, Jesse, just checking in on you. Well, hi, guys, this is, uh, Jack. 
Nintendo. You know, it's funny, like, during, like, the video I made earlier, like, the one I made yesterday, the, like, the Jack Before Crack, like, I had to, like, try really hard not to say, and I have crack, I'm not supposed to say crack, but I said anyway, because he didn't come out that catchphrase yet. I mean, he didn't have crack yet, or weed. He didn't, he didn't have weed, which his brother called crack. You know why they call it Jack with crack? Because his brother always called it crack. That's, that's my new, new headcanon. Your new headcanon for a thing you made. For a thing I made, yeah. I'm just gonna say that Sonic 2 video is one of my favorites. Sonic Sonic 4 episode 2. It was one of my favorite videos of all time. That was a fun one. I remember, like, I that was the last video I recorded on my first laptop, on my original laptop. Like, that was the last thing I did on that laptop before it just, like, went bad. And I knew it was going to go bad, but I wanted to have the season finale out before the new year. And then my dad bought me a gaming laptop that blew up. Man, I tell him that story a lot. He's like, it was a Lenovo. It was a good laptop. And I'm all like... It's a Lenovo. Of course it isn't a good laptop. Lenovo. He was such a big... He liked to suck Lenovo's dick, and I don't know why. Like, every time a customer, like, tries to get one of the Lenovo's, and they ask, like, uh, is this a good laptop? I'm like, literally anything else would be better. Yeah. No, my dad just had an obsession with them Hard. because he... His reason was because they were very inexpensive. I'm like, why do you think they're inexpensive? He's like, because Lenovo's a trustworthy family brand. A trustworthy family brand? Yeah. A uh, trustworthy yeah. family brand. I love trustworthy family brands. Me too. But you know what I can't stand? What? Un untrustworthy family brands. He was like... Cause, or like, cause... trustworthy single parent family. Uh, brands. Because, like, man, it was just always, like, you know, because what was it? I had had two Lenovo's in a row. So I had, I had, I had, had a, so actually my first laptop was, that was my first laptop, because my first laptop was Lenovo. And I told my dad, I never want a Lenovo again. He's all like, okay. So he bought me a Dell. You know, that one lasted me a good, good 13 years, I want to say. Man. Not, not a good 13, okay, it was more than that. But it lasted me from, like, 2009 to, like, 2000, uh, Like it lasted down. you eight billion years. Me. It lasted me a good while, you know, it was a good laptop. And so uh, I remember uh, when it, uh, it, uh, I remember uh, when it started like having it started having like hard drive not hard drive issues, but like fan issues, so it overheat a lot. So I was like, oh shit. You know, as a lot of laptops do when they get close to their death. Think of it. But Yeah, I Aren't both of the honeycombs in the winter, right? Yeah, one's like above uh, Nabnut's house. Oh. The other, the other is in Wante's house, where you're yeah. at right now. All right. Though to be fair, a lot of these these honeycombs are kind of pointless to get. I mean, yeah, but I still want to get them just because they're okay. tallied. That's fair. I remember feeling so smart when I found out you could go down here. Like, through that one hole. Yeah. I wonder if I'm going to have the power to go stream as strong as you're doing right now. I mean, you're I'm- right now. I probably only have the power to go this long because I have someone here talking with me. That's fair. Someone important, maybe. Yeah. Barack Obama. I am Barack Obama. Hello, it is me, yeah. Barack Obama. It's me, Barack Obama. <laughs> oh my god. So my friend, I had a friend who like, who was like, who like, who like had a, who like had a, uh, who like had an Uber ride with someone named Barack. And he just started calling him, can I call you Barack, not Obama? He was like, no. Hey. Hey, hey, Liv, what's Obama's last name? Obama. Damn. Obama, Obama. Obama, Obama. 
Wow. It's like Mario Mario. Or Link Link. I'm fucking stupid. I forgot entirely why I got that fucking thing. <laughs> okay. Let's I'm let's do this real. Racist. That's a serious allegation. How dare you? I'm sorry. I'll go I'll go <laughs> I'll go pee on myself now. Man. What if I actually peed on myself as a punishment? That'd be so wacky to wacky. Man, watching you play this game, it's like just a breath of fresh air, because the last few people I've watched play this game are just all like, yeah, I'm not going to go for 100%, and it bothers me. Yeah, which <laughs> to be fair, like, if you want to do that, more power to you, it's just, It's just, you I'm know. not, I'm just going to have some ADHD and be like, oh shit, they're not going for 100%. Whoa, 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 whoa. What whoa. a dick. Hey, hey, oh. Hey, hey, hey. You got him. He dead. He dead. He I'm bred. I hate this one right here the most. What do you mean? I just hate kind of grabbing this this piece right here because it's a little bit of a pain in the arts. I don't think it's that big a deal. Aren't there also notes in here? Maybe. We're gonna get our last honeycomb! Check for notes. I Shit. Think they're, they're, are they in Navnut's house? I don't think there are any in here, no. I'm only missing like eight. I think like four or six of them are gonna be in Navnut's house. So they're, they're in this, in this, I know Winter's four sets of four. <laughs> oh no, he has a Navnut wife now. Man. Wait, there's nothing in this house. Huh. Weird. I remember, like, one of my friends told me as a kid, like, hey, there's some notes down there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I see the other four, like, right over there. Yeah. Yeah, and then you also gotta grab the Jinjo. Big match. Uh. I'm missing two Jiggies. I think you're missing, uh, which two are you missing? You're missing, uh... I'm missing the one for the Jinjo, um... Uh, what else? Probably something earlier along here. That's a really unfortunate camera angle to look did at you get, there. Did you pick up the jig Jiggy from, uh, from, uh, the, uh, from the Falcon? Yeah. Birdie. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did it. <laughs> Alright, let's go down this thing backwards now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do you think one day I'll find myself a Sango cosplay? Maybe. When I do, I'm gonna cry and then I'm gonna pee. Man. Maybe I'll learn how to make my own costumes and then I'll make it so. Man. That one seems kind of complicated, though. Wait, that snowman seems like his throw is just normal. Seems pretty fast to me, maybe. Did you slow, didn't you slow down the frame rate? No. Maybe it's chugging just a minute. You might have slowed down the frame rate on your preview, but... Okay. <laughs> Alright, Jinjo's gonna be up here. Hey, what, what am I missing? <gasps> Yo, I got a gamer pick! Congrats, you got a gamer pick. That's so epic. <laughs> oh boy. That's so epic to Beckick. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? Cause... I made up some words there, I'm sorry. There's one more. 
I would check just maybe check to see if you got the maybe, one from maybe I like did a stupid and forgot to pick up the jiggy when I yeah. went to Siri. Siri. Oh. Did you maybe? No, you it's got not it. there. Huh. So what are the three in winter? There's the Jinjo. Jinjo, there's Eerie. And the nutcase. What nutcase? The the secret room in Nabnut's house. There's no jiggy in there. The other secret room. The window room that you can walk to. Seer what's see I'm gonna look it up, I'm sorry. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hi, Chrissy. Hey, it's the Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy. Yeah. How's it been going? Uh, the stream's probably gonna end up soon, because I'm, like, almost done with here. I just have to, like, figure out where that last, uh, last jiggy I'm missing is. And you should also grab the one from Granny's Lair. Yeah, the, the Witch Switch ones. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Um. Let's see, uh, Click Clock Woods. I'm looking it up, give me a second, okay? Let's see. Unless you've got one in the other season. Did you grab the one from- oh yeah, you did. There's not one for like getting all the snowmans in this one, I don't think. No, there isn't. Wait. Top of, the tree. top of the tree, top of the tree. No, I'm pretty sure I got that one. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, let's see. Jiggies, Bumblebee Busting, Leaf Leaps, The Tale of Magna, The Gingers. Now you've gotten all the ones in a. Top of the tree. Here's a thought. Here's there a is thought. a. You know which one? I think I know which one. You forgot the one you get with the bee at the very top of Click Clock Woods and Spring. I think it's that one. Yeah. Because I just remembered there was like one. Like way out of the way. Like there's one area you can only get to like in spring and in fall. I don't know if the there's like a jiggy there in fall. Because this would be like. I think this is like the first time in a while that I've actually like forgotten to do that in spring. But hey, it works out because I mean I needed to get the B to get the witch switch jiggy anyway. That's fair. So it's kind of like a. I think this is the one I forgot on my last playthrough too, though, because I was like, oh yeah. Yep. I'm a little guy. I'm also happy to see Chrissy stop by to say the hi. The hi word. Twice. Hi, twice. The hi word. That's one of my favorite words. I like how you say that like it's a swear. <laughs> what if I just assume every word's a swear going forward? Is it a little higher? Yeah, here it yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, that's the one I'm missing. I had a thought, I'm like, there, isn't there one, like, really at the top of the tree, though? That maybe you can only get in spring or winter? Did you get it in winter? I don't know. Maybe. Yes, you can. Wait. I mean, hey, you need to go back to get the bee anyway, so it's either way. I'd say that sounds disgusting, but I I think cake just kind of feels disgusting in general. Yeah, cake, I'm... I don't know. People always look at me like I'm insane when I say that, but I really do not like cake. I'm not the biggest fan of cake either, to be honest. What my parents used to do instead for my birthday was give me, like, a big cookie. Yeah, my... 
that's one thing that, like, my parents would always suggest, but, like, what I always got instead was just apple pie. I'm obsessed with pumpkin pie, but... That, that, that's maybe, like, the whitest thing about me, is instead of cake, I would just get apple pie for my birthdays. That's so valid. Yeah. I mean, apple pie is good. Uh... Did I get that and just forget? Oh, I did, okay. I feel really stupid now. Hmm. Uh, I would go further and, like, do Furnace Fun, but I also do want to have at least some time to do Anime Upload tonight. And I have a morning shift tomorrow, so, yeah. Yeah. Um... So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here for now. Um, let me like... Which one was... Here we go. Yeah. So... Tomorrow we're... Oh. Tomorrow we're doing the Furnace Fun and then... Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do the Furnace Fun, close out the game, um... And yeah, probably do a little bit of pre-show, cause... Not pre-show, post-show, cause I imagine that's not gonna take super long. Yeah, and then Jody and I can do more anime together. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be starting a little later than I uh, today. It's gonna be like probably around like six or seven. E. So yeah. Uh see y'all then if you decide to show up for it. Yeah, um is anyone I don't think anyone's online, but let me see. Oh, Basha. Basha's online, okay. Yeah, so let's straight into Basha. Uh if, if any of you haven't like Heard before she's playing Conquer. Uh, she's cool. She got like, she got mom energy, is what I would say. She's grand. Um, which is fitting since she is literally a mom. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you want, drop by, say hi, and yeah, see y'all on tomorrow. See y'all on for more for the rest of Banjo. I'll be here too, maybe. Yeah. <laughs>